Hey guys, be back at it again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 10th of April, 2022. It was an all the things uh, farming transmog uh, lac stream. We actually focused on lacs, which was great. We did six dungeons back to back to back to back to back to back. That's probably too many, it's fine. Um, we had an absolute blast. I actually did it properly this time, which felt really, really good. If you want to catch us live, twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama is where you can do it. If you add a slash schedule, you can find out what time I'm going to go live in your time zone, because if you're anything like me, conversions are crap. <laughs> if you want to find me over on the socials, if you're feeling generous enough to toss me a follow, uh, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, all the kind of fun stuff, TikTok as well, there's a thing, or you can join the Discord. All those links are down in the description box underneath. I hope you enjoy watching this VOD as much as I enjoyed streaming it. I hope that I will see you live next time. Funny you should mention that. Hello. Greetings. Uh, where's... Good lord, what am I doing today? This one. Okay. I <laughs> the number of te technical difficulties I've had in the last, like, two minutes. Hmm. That's fine. That's fine. We're here. We're gonna have some fun, and I'm gonna turn the goddamn air conditioner on. Is it Hi, warm, the sun, baby? Kay, with the resub, eleven months. My God. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you for your support, your generosity. Hope you're having a lovely day, a lovely, wonderful day. Uh, this button. Um, oh, actually, let's press some other buttons too, because I don't need that. I don't need that at all. Don't save. Uh, I need the rest of everything else. What is this one? Ah, oh, awesome. I got a gifted sub to Galaxy. Amazing. Love that. Love that. Oh, okay. Um. What do you need? For the whole. All the things with a twist. Transmog hunting with a twist. We're actually doing loot appraiser challenges today. Uh, I have decided that um, I'm going to take the. Like, usually, what I do is I use my spreadsheet, my AT Dart spreadsheet, all the dungeon and raid things, yes, and I go with whatever's lowest, and I just I do that, and then I push it up. And then I refresh it, and then I do that, and I push it up, and then I refresh it. But it got all over, a bit all over the place, and I'm like, yeah, we're gonna do little praise challenges, and then we do like one. Not really good enough. Really, not really good enough. So what I did this time instead, um, I checked my spreadsheet, and it said the Architraz, and I'm like, all right, let's do Burning Crusade dungeons then. I used that as inspiration. Uh, so we're gonna go through the Architraz, and then we're gonna go through the other two Netherstorm dungeons. And then I was like, where else has three dungeons? Um, turns out it's the, uh, oh my god, click the arrow, there we go. Uh, so we've got Architraz, Mechanar, and Bot. We've got Hellfire, Ramparts, Blood Furnace, and Shattered, Shattered Halls. Because I did not want to go underwater for these three. Um, and I didn't want to do four. So that's what we're going to go for, is those six. Hopefully that'll do us for the six hour stream. Um, but there might be some in there that are super hella quick that we knock over in like half an hour. So if that happens, uh, maybe we'll go do Magisterus or something. Um, something a little bit fun and random. So that's the plan for today. We are starting with the Architraz. So get your booties over there and I'm going to start up the challenge invitation. Duva Wacker. Which, and this also means because we're doing like all the all the ones in a group here, it really shouldn't take us too long to hop from one dungeon to the next either. Um, and people will know what we're doing next because they'll be like, if they're watching, they'll, they'll know what we're doing next, which will be really good. So we're going to start with Architraz, we're going to head to Bot because it's right next door, and then we're going to head down to Mechanar, and then we'll head for um, Hellfire, which is across the other side of the continent map. Um, good... Let's catch up on chat. Yep, so the bot did a thing. The bot went splat, but that's okay. I restarted it and then realized after I restarted it that <laughs> it also had been logged out. Um, so I had to like log in. I had to find the password and I had to get the token, the login token, because I got 2FA, obviously, um, and all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, it was great. <clears throat> it was an experience. 
uh, and it was it was fun and lovely. Where are, oh, it's up. Right, I always forget that there's one that's up. I always forget. Um, but she did grab first, and uh, Zem t attempted to, then I said give it a second, because the bot was taking a nap, which turned out to be coma. Um, she just failed me yet again. Hello, Rain! Welcome back! I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, Ali with second, but it was not meant to be. The bot was dead. Yep. Uh, there we go. So, Shiba grabbed first. Uh, Zam grabbed firsty. Ali with second. Hello, Krazzy. Panic from Shiba. K attempted first and second, uh, but got in with 69th, with Seri jumping in with last in there as well. 15-ish. Uh, Love it. Love it, Kaz. Welcome on in. And Lady Chaos has grabbed third. Welcome back. It's still not a thing. No, it's not a thing. Um, but if you would like for it to be a thing, you can make it a thing by redeeming your embers. That's it. That's oh, captions crap. Look, it's a thing. It's fine. Hello, testing. There we go. Wonderful. Um, at least I got third. Lol, indeed. So everyone's been going really well. Productive. Super hella productive. Um, but we're good. We're good. Uh, what am I doing? Interface. Loot appraiser challenge. Uh, it's the Arcatraz. That's not how to spell it. The Arcatraz. There we go. Accept. We're gonna do 45 minutes. I've done lock on. Accept. Um, oh no, it's broken again. Resend invite. I'm offline. Uh, every time. Every every week. Can I set it to busy? There we go. Hey, there we go. Oh wow, nine people. Amazing. There you go. So get your theme jig. If you are um if you want to join us, you can exclamation add me in chat to get the what's it? Um to get my battle tag. Um let me know. I don't get an, an audible notification when I get a new friend request because reasons. So if you do add me, please let me know that you have so I can go and accept it. Uh, and then you can invite yourself if the, the challenge is halfway through or something as well. So remember that bit. Hello, Kay, and thank you again for the resub. How are you feeling today? Yeah, I'm doing all right. How about you, Landa? Make up a top? Thank you. Much appreciated. Um, actually, yeah, while, while we're doing this, let me um, switch up to here. Um, so the makeup today, gosh, it's looking a bit bright, isn't it? I might need to turn the gain down. Um, so we've got, uh, how would I describe this? So there's like a cream, like a, a, a light brown to cream sort of champagne shade in the middle there. And then in the middle here that you can't really see on camera very well because it's got a gold reflect, but the color of the eyeshadow is like a reddy bronzy sort of color. the sun well. Canis the menace. Fantastic! And Rose, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Kenneth. Much appreciated. I hope you're doing fantastically today. Thank you so kindly. Thank you. Um, right. So creamy, browny, light brown sort of shade. The middle bit in here, it's it's kind of it's an orange, but it's got a gold reflect. So it looks like the camera's only picking up the gold. Uh, but it's definitely got like an orangey sort of shade in there as well. So it's it's like. Yeah, hard to explain. Uh, dark brown on the outside, and then like a, an orangey red uh, in in the crease. It flies, I own it. Enjoy. Uh, all right. Dirty darts, my spreadsheet. Yeah, since we found the meal prepping for the week. Yeah, we did meal prep this morning. Jas and I banged out all of our meals for the week, which is awesome sauce. Instagram beautiful pictures she has. Ah, oh, thank you, Landa. Yes, definitely go follow her Instagram. Um, I uh, lost seven followers after last night's image. A couple of whom were people I knew in my past who blocked me to get me to unfollow them. You know, it's it's a trick that you can do if you want someone to un if you want someone to unfollow you, um, you can block them, and then. That it, it pushes them to unfollow you, then you can unblock them and they don't automatically refollow you, if that makes sense. So that you can like, yeah, so I had a few people do that, which is really funny. One person actually properly permanently blocked me, which is fantastic. I guess they think I'm transitioning careers or something. I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, so we're down, so that that's nice. Ah, oh dear. Great fun. Um, have you had luck getting the charger from Classic Dungeon? Have you had luck of getting the charger from Classic um, sorry Das, I'm not sure which one you're talking about exactly. Which classic dungeon? Because there's a lot of there's a lot of them. There's like a lot of classic dungeons. Sorry, Das. Um doing how am I doing sect? I'm doing pretty well. I hope you're doing the uh, well as well. Work out why is it you're offline with Steen? Right next to you, yeah, appearing offline. As for always. Hello, Mr. Businessman guy. Welcome back. A little busy at the moment of the next one. Of course, Sim, of course. Hello, Rose. Thank you again for the gifted sub. Red Primal Raptor. No. I had a fine day overall. Both my friends are sick. Oh, no. I find fantastic. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. You fear Jess? He was like, yep, I knew it. Oh, that's hilarious. That's awesome, sex. Um, Black Drake. No. How did you go on Twitter before they added the unfollow feature? Well, that was, I suppose. Yeah, but it's also my loss because it means I'm like we went from 934 down to 927. <sighs> so yeah, it, it's kind of like every time I feel like, hey, we're making progress, it's like, nope, haha, psych. Um, so that's that's nice. But oh well, it is what it is. We just got to keep working, keep pushing. It's re I find it really really funny that a photo of me in essentially bike shorts caused seven people to unfollow me. Like. Okay, sure. That's all right. Like, ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Okay, let's do a ready check. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna zone in as well. I'm gonna open up Arcatraz so I can see what I still need. Um. Oh God, there's a whole, there's a quest. Oh, Jesus. All right. Um. Oh, and the prison keys. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm gonna start on heroic. You guys can start on whichever difficulty you would prefer. Um, it's, it is up to you. Ah, uh, do you hear sleep moment? Do you still sleeping? He's done a lot. That's good to hear. Wonderful. I hope you get better real soon. Uh, Bronze Drake. No, Shiva. Tis not. Tis not. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I wasn't close enough. Damn it. Oh well. That's fine. Oh, I'm getting rep. Oh god, this is gonna be. This is gonna be great. Ah, uh, Blue Tree Tawny Windrider, guess. No, Mints. Not, not the Tawny Windrider. How outraged. Unfollow, unsubscribe, and blocked. I know. I, I almost feel like, um, like. You know, like, if you're scrolling your feed and all of a sudden you see, you know, ever so slightly undressed person. Like, it's it's not anywhere close to loot or anything like that. Like, maybe it's one of- because they were all guys. They were all guys. Every single one of them. And I'm thinking maybe it's, like, girlfriend aggro or something. Like, they're going to be pissed that they're following someone who would post something like that. Or, I don't know. I don't know. It was just- it was really funny. But oh well, here's what it is, and it's fine because I'm gonna go sit down with a, a professional marketing person and uh, make a real go of it. Oh, oh good. I got a new. Was that the last thing I needed from that boss? It was fantastic. You there? Uh, Pinky posted was basically wearing similar style you see from people wearing outside and nowadays. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it like exactly. Um, that was why I was comfortable posting it because it wasn't some scandalous sort of. Do you know what I mean? Like it was. It's a pretty good shot of the product and the the brand name is like proper on show and all that kind of stuff. But it's not like super duper the focus. 
it's not like a product flat lay, it's more a look at this person enjoying their product, don't you want one too kind of thing. Which I think is what they were after, right? So yeah, I, yeah. Look, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, Iron Sky Reaver, no. Ah, uh, does look very paladin-like. You feeling okay? It is, it is a paladin. Because my spreadsheet said that my lowest completion percentage was Architraz on Paladin. So here we is. Here we is. This, this quest starts at Adal? Oh, okay. Oh, it's for the it was the attunement for Architraz. Yeah, okay. I will I will do that another time. There's a zone drop in here though, so that's fun. Uh, where wasn't this ad blocked? Wait, that's fair. Cool. Yep. Yep. I, I'm pretty happy with it, honestly, and I, I hope they are too. Like, I hope the brand is too, because like, dude, I'm pretty happy with that. Ah, uh, it was a great photo. This is welcome to go jump. I just hope that I can get people to replace them as followers soon. <laughs> Oh, I'm just, I'm right close to, you know, I'm close to 1k and it just, <sighs> it's okay. It's all right. But that, that image got so many likes though. Like so much, actually, I wonder. Did you call Let's talk to plan and see what, what the my engagement's you. like. To do your heavy I'm kind of curious now. When I need something. No, not TikTok. Like I want stuff. Instagram. Peacock, I'll call on you. Then I'll commit myself to ignoring you. What would you know about this commitment? Was, but you're the one who should be. Hey. We have company. Results. <laughs> yeah. So, um. So it's it's my most engaged for so in the it's got so last time it checked last time plan checked it had seventy seven likes I think last time I checked it had seventy nine or something but that's fine so seventy seven uh, the next highest this week is twenty four this month it's in first place and it's the same photo in second place oh right because I didn't post for all the March okay um, three months. Still my most liked in the last three months. I'm waiting for it to load my lifetime stats. Uh, maybe it, okay, maybe this isn't accurate. Yeah, I don't think this is quite accurate because it's showing that it's the most liked image in my um, lifetime and I don't think that's right. But I have like a 9% engagement rate, which is pretty hot. So that's, um, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Um, great shot. Me too, Kay. I really, like, I wouldn't have posted it if I didn't like it, pers like, personally. But um, I, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. So they're moving my 50 tunes with a kill five. It wasn't Wurja in general. Yeah, perfect. God, moving them all across takes the longest time, doesn't it? Of course. Do you know if Stream Raiders works on mobile? It does. They they were talking, they talked about having a mobile thing. I don't think it's an actual app, but I think they do. Like if you go to the Stream Raiders website on your phone, I think they have a mobile optimized site that comes up. I think that's how it works. Um, personally, I've never, because um, I can't do my captain-y stuff properly from the mobile. Um, I use a, an actual program, like a downloadable program to run Stream Raiders because it, it runs the um, calculations and stuff more smoothly for you guys that way. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a thing. Pretty sure it does. I knew the it's a beautiful account. Let's do some other hit brands that you I like and see if you could reach. Absolutely, right? Absolutely. It's in the browser on phone, not an app. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, cool. Awesome. They go. Good. Fantastic. I'll just tell the prince you release the prisoners.
The Naru kept some of the most dangerous beings in existence here in these cells. Let me introduce you to another. Yes, yes, another! Your will is mine! Why? Behold, yet another terrifying creature of incomprehensible power! Where in Bonzo's brass buttons am I? And who in What is this? Okay. Holy gnome? Kind of nuts. I yep. could do better. Oh, My mouse yesterday, yay, Lander! Fantastic! Holy, I don't oh, that's care who awesome. You are, friend. No one refers to the mighty Millhouse Manastorm as Lowly. I have no idea what goes on here, but I will gladly join your fight against this impudent. All impudent right, there we go. So. You defend oh, you are so wise. Yes, I see it now. Of course. It is tied. With my most liked I image. Need to get some things ready first. You guys it's tied as my started. my most liked image of all time. So there's that one, and then there's the one I took with my the new Fantastic. jeans that I got from Throne. I uh, took like a full body shot and posted that. That also got 77. Then the Happy Grogu got 59, and then uh, a random selfie got 52. But it's all the top ones except for one. One of them was one of the other. Step one shots, but everything else is um, selfies or the mount makeup stuff. So clearly, when my face is in it, it ranks higher. The mighty legion. Welcome, oh great one. I am your humble servant. Bear witness to the agent of your demise. Who's bad? That's right. We bad. Selfies of fear get more likes. Noted and understood. Alright, so I've done my uh, heroic run. There's no quick way out of here, is there? It's fine. Let's get out of here and I'll go start hitting up normal. Oh, looks like I'm sitting in second place at the moment. Not too, too bad. Um, it's tied for now. Pretty girls go perform well. Likes in general, Imo. They do, and it's well, I mean, pretty photos, right? Pretty photos. Because Instagram is such a visual platform, any image that is visually appealing is going to be liked more and have higher engagement. That that's how Instagram works, that's how it's designed to work. Um, so anyone can take a pretty picture. Anyone can be in a pretty picture. Uh I don't think that um like yeah, it's it's got to do with the aesthetically pleasing nature of the entire image. Um, it's not just like, yeah. Um, uh, sure usually rank higher than other picks. Yeah, yeah, they uh, they absolutely have. Um, noted. Noted. And my best performing palette involves skin tones, two shades of darker greens, a couple of shades of mo movie purpley sort of shades, and uh, and brown. Worst performing palette is blues and pinks. There you go. I and data and analysis is amazing. It's so cool, so so cool. So I need more green clothes. And the skin tone stuff is because I'm in it. And I think the dark brown is because my my hair doesn't always photograph as red. Like in a lot of these shots, my hair looks brown. So I think that's just indicating that my best performing shots are ones that have me in them. Skin tone and brown and then green. <laughs> Which is quite entertaining, really. Um... Which is the one of the reasons why every YouTube thumbnail is someone's face nowadays. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I've been trying to find, uh, for the, the thumbnails for my VOD uploads, I've been trying to scan along to find a part where I've pulled, like, a funny face. 
it's sometimes it's worked and sometimes it hasn't, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Ah, uh, now normal. Yeah, yeah, Ali, keep going. Keep going till the timer runs out. Um, as many normals as you can get in. Um, hey, Josh. It's a good color with you, though. I agree. I, I really like green. Like, green is a, a really good color on me, especially, like, with the pale skin and the red hair. It does, it can risk me looking a little bit like Christmas. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, it looks pretty good. I, um, uh, there's a, a challenge, you know, do you guys remember I did the, like, there were a couple of, um, yeah, style challenges I've done in the past. Um, they've posted a new one recently that I want to participate in. Uh, you've got to take any yes style mini skirt and style it and post it with your discount code and all that kind of stuff, right? And the winners, um, 100 US. Nice money, you know, just, just a little cash money. Um, 100 US dollars. Uh, I'm not sure, they, I'm guessing that they probably drop it into your commission account on the website and then you can either cash it out or you can use it to buy stuff uh, from your style but i was going there i'm like do i actually have a mini a mini skirt from your style that i could use for this thing turns out i have like five so, <laughs> so i'm gonna see if i can whip something together tomorrow and post it um like, you know, put together an outfit involving a style mini skirt. But because I have a few of them, I'm thinking I might do a couple, see if that ups my chances of winning. Because 100 US would go real nice in my dental account, my dental fund. So, so look, that could be nice. That could be nice. Um, but I'll let you know when, when I'll, well, I'll let you know when it's gonna go up so that you guys, you can have a, go have, go have a looky, looky Lou. Looks like burgundy if you Ah, brilliant. Yeah, it does, like, yeah. Yeah, it's, it definitely doesn't look as red as the bottle or as red as it does IRL either, to be honest. Um, but that's, that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't, like, that's not kind of, what matters more is, like, the engagement and stuff, right? And so the fact that there is a brown, like, I'll show you what I can do. Cause this is this is from my um, my specifically Instagram. Um, this is what I use to plan my Instagram out. Um, I can show you what it's telling me. Yeah. Copy. And I'll pop it in general. There you go. That's what I'm talking about in terms of analytics by color. Because as we were saying, you know, Instagram is such a visual platform. Your color palette really matters. So there are some there are some influencers out there whose entire feed is one color palette. Like every single thing that they post is baby pink and bright blue. Everything, every single thing. That's it. Um, and they they find content and they, they you know they take cute shots of you know it's very aesthetic and it's like you know a house or it's a bedroom or it's an outfit or whatever. But they're always in the same colors. And they do that because that's their that's their aesthetic and that's how their feed looks and all that kind of stuff. So when they end up getting when they do sponsorships and stuff like that, sponsors know exactly what type of product to send them. They have to send them pastel pink and blue shit. Like that's what happens. Um, so it can really help knowing what your what your color scheme is, like what works for you. So looking at that best performing palette section in the middle, like the, the two, the one at the bottom and then the one at the bottom of the right right side column, those those are skin tones. Those, those are skin tones. That's skin tone and skin tone in shadow. Like that's, that's what it is for me personally. My skin tone, not everyone's skin tone. Obviously there are hundreds of thousands of skin tones, but these are mine. Um, and then you've got the, on the second to the bottom from the left and then the top right, those are both deep dark greens. Very, very similar colors, but they're both deep dark greens. And then the one in the middle between the green and the, the the my skin tone one on the right hand side, that's the that color there is representative of how my hair photographs. That's about that's about the color that most of my Instagram shots end up making. My there are some highlights that are very obviously red, um, and some parts that are a bit darker than that. But it averages out to about that color in the photos. Um, and then I don't know where the purple's coming from. Maybe it's my makeup. Maybe it's like my lipstick or something. I've been wearing a lot of like pale pinky purple lipsticks lately. 
because I'm trying, there's a lip gloss I'm trying to use up and I've got like two or three wears left in it and it'll be gone and done. I'm trying to use it up and it's, it's a pale pink. So that, that would kind of make sense. I'm wearing it today over an orange liner to kind of, yep. Um, it's like a retweet or two, indeed. Indeed, I'm very, I'm, I'm so thankful. So thankful that you guys, like, pulled through and, like, dropped all the likes and all the comments. Like, good lord, thank you so much. I need, like, tomorrow is the 11th of April, which will be three months, because I signed a contract with Step 1 on January 11th. So April 11th is the end of my contract. It's Monday. So um, I'll be reaching out and asking them, like, you know, next steps, what are we doing? Um, you know, reporting and all that kind of stuff, what exactly they need from me. Um, but the chatbot message and the panel and all that kind of stuff will go poof. Because uh, my contractual obligation has been complete. And if they want me to keep posting it, they're going to have to pay me. <laughs> That's how this works. But no, um, so yeah, I've got to grab all that kind of stuff. Probably on my, they might ask for the reporting a little bit later to give it time to kind of get more, like aggregate more stuff. But uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing like how I went, you know, if they can give me any sort of feedback, it'd be really awesome. I hope so. I hope they'll give me some feedback because I'd like to... I'd like to get better at this, you know. Two, three times daily, such a pain. Oh no, that's no good at all. I wonder if that's a WoW thing or an internet thing. Like an ISB thing. Could be background purple. Yeah, um, the sheets are grey, but they do absolutely look... Like that top left one, you're right, that's, that's about the colour of our sheets. <laughs> um... But the, uh, the purple one, maybe if it's in shadow, that actually, yeah, you know what? That's probably... Yep. I uh, like how it flipped off. We need to get them out at the end. So sorry. Why are you sorry? I don't understand why you're sorry. Um... Uh, true love. Chair has purple too. Chair does have purple too, but I haven't posted anything. I don't think I've posted anything in this chair yet, like on Instagram. I, I, yeah, so I'm not sure. Uh, sect, Loz, and Lamb, uh, Zam, God, Lamb? What am I doing? Zam, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. My gosh. Um,. But yeah, because I haven't posted it on Instagram, like, because I haven't posted chair on Instagram, um, it won't count that colour as part of the colour palette. This is just purely from Instagram analytics. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I feel like given the requisite support, you'd be brilliant at this point. Aw, oh, thank you, Landa. Appreciate that. But yeah, I'd love, I would love to get some feedback from them to see, like, if there were things that I did that they really liked or if there were anything that they would want to be done differently next, do you know what I mean? Like it's, I'm curious because I want to get better at this because I want to get more, like, you know, link up with more brands and, uh, and to be a professional at this stuff. Oh, no, 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 totally fine. I have not totally been. fine. I had to let them out. The great one speaks to Um you. wait. It's really I'm interesting. Kalefoss did not send you. Good. I'll just tell the prince you released the prisoners. <laughs> Although actually, just thinking about it, the purple in the, the color scheme the Naru kept some could the also be because of you know my stream like nobody's sense. watching t-shirt? That's Let purple. And another. the Grogu shot, which is my third most liked photo ever, is has got purple lights in the background because that's what I was using the day I streamed. So that yes, that yes, might be what's factoring another. into it rather than Your the chair. Will is mine. That makes sense. Cool. Oh, Interesting. Yet another terrifying creature of incomprehensible power. Where in Bonzo's brass buttons am I? And who is ah! oh, 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 that is one mother of a headache. What is this? 
A lowly gnome? I will do better, oh great one. Lowly? I don't care who you are, friend. No one refers to the mighty Millhouse Menastorm as lowly. I have no idea what goes on here, but I will gladly join Anarchy. your fight against this Bedlam. impudent imbecile. Oh, you are so wise. To we have to, indeed it is. Now, of course. Is. I just need to get some things ready first. You guys go ahead and get started. I'm getting a couple of bits here and there. But nothing nothing much too uh too valuable. No force on this world or beyond harbors the strength to bend on me. Not even the mighty legion. Welcome, O oh Great One. I am your humble servant. Bear witness to the agent of your demise. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, that's right. Who's that? Amazing. I only got three. This is six. But I think it's because they're in both heroic and normal. Three more items to get from this dungeon. Much improved over the 30% I had when we started. Um, oh, okay. Um, yeah, without the context, I had no idea what you were talking about, Kaz. I could not have possibly known. Um, I'm still only double digits, so. Only double digits. What do you mean by that, Mini? The monk's fantastic. Good to hear. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> Confused. Um, so I'm guessing that you're Tourpal. Um, if you want to, you can. There's a nickname section in the lack so that you can um, have your name pop up on the th on the leaderboard if you want to, but that's entirely up to you. Um, what the fuck was that? Board. Um... So you know what my memory's like. <laughs> Colander on head. Good. Uh, I'm going to close the expansion. I'm hype. Yes. It's almost launch. Well, not launch time. Launch like uh, launch of announcement. Almost announcement time. There we go. I'm getting there. Uh, we've got, what, a week and a half? Roughly? Roughly. Oopsie. There's a wall there. <laughs> week and a half, roughly. It's very exciting. Um, we do also have our community goal. It's the last day today. If you want to see Jas and I play TikTok, Tale for Two, it is your last chance to chip in for that. I didn't realize I did that. Ah, awesome! Context is useful, I'd agree. Yeah. Yep. It's, uh, especially when I'm, you know, having 70 million conversations all at once in all these different places and all like, that. Oh. Being able to, like, this is why I love, like, the reply function in Discord is phenomenal. Can we just, like, put it out there? I really like that. Um, I don't like the Twitch one because it doesn't, it puts the, like, what you're replying to is the very first message of the thread rather than the last message, that you're, which is just kind of annoying. Um, but I really like the, the like, the way that Discord does it. Uh, because it allows me to kind of go, wait, what are they talking about? And then kind of follow back to, yeah, really easy. I like it a lot. Uh, thanks for the reminder. You're very welcome, Kay. Very welcome. Next month is going to be uh, interesting. 
Might have to shake things up a little bit. Might. Don't know. Still not a... Still not set in stone just yet, but uh... Uh huh. It's uh, it's gonna be a time. I'm sure you guys will be along for the the fun of it anyway. Fingers crossed, at least. Um, you may also notice that today I've put retail in the uh in the title because we're doing BC content. <laughs> thought it might be uh, thought it might be helpful. I guarantee you that we're still going to get people coming in saying, is this Burning Crusade Classic? Always along for the ride. I'm glad to hear it, Kay. I'm glad to hear it. I'm, I'm really... I'm I'm nervous excited. The void it could be really, 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 really Good awesome, but it could also just be terrible. So <laughs> I'm uh Yeah, I'm I'm not sure how look, we'll see. Let's see. My bags before next reset. Yes. Yeah, I, I know that feeling. I'm um, luckily I've only got like about half I started with completely empty bags, except for like the few little bits and pieces down the bottom of the bags, but um, yeah, I started with practically empty bags. I've been trying to do that, trying to make sure my bags are empty before I start stream. It's, it's, an, it's a thing. It's a thing. To bonk a few of them with that shield, nice. It is going to feel weird, weird playing literally a paladin all day today, but that's fine. That's fine! Uh, for anyone who wants to join us for our next round of Loot Appraiser Challenges, we'll be heading to Botanica next. Botanica is much nicer because it's a big loop and you can zone straight back out, straight out and go back in again. M much appreciate that. Love that design. Love that for us. Um, I was empty as if I'm picking up much. Ah! You must be picking up more than I am. I'm definitely picking everything up, including the greys and stuff, but uh, yeah. Maybe we're also squeezing more runs in because I'm too busy blabbing to people. <laughs> oh god, X, hello. Um, hello, Draz! Oh, no need to apologize. <laughs> no need to apologize at all. I hope you enjoyed the F1. When I need some air, prance around like an overstuffed peacock! Uh, today you are a paladin, is it? Indeed. It's a thing. What you know about commitment? A little new chair. Yeah! We've had a new chair for over a week now. Oh! Oh my gosh. Am I gonna finish? <gasps> Chango with a chia! Thank you so much! That is so generous of you, thank you! Actually, we've had you. Has it been over a week or more than that now? I feel like it's been well over that. We had. So, where was surgery? Surgery was here. And I was on drugs when I got the email. And then it arrived here. And then I built it here. Oh no, so it's been about. It's been about a week. Just over a week. Okay. God. Time has. I. Time has been, it feels like it's been moving so quickly, but the last couple of weeks have really, like, taken their time. It's really odd. Really odd. They watch streams anymore? That's okay, X. That's okay. By the sun well. Ah! Oh, Allie with a gifted sub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. And congratulations, X. On your gifted sub. Doing well, I am, Django. Thank you so much for asking. I hope you are too. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. For Ember donations to hit our goal. Oh, we're so close, and we're about three and a half minutes away. 
Um, well, we, we've got three and a half minutes to trigger a hype train if anyone else has a, a resub button that they've been planning to hit. Now would be the time to do it. Score yourself some emotes for your troubles. Community challenge is 95% completed. Oh, well. oh, eggs! Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Oh my god. And it's hype train time. Oh my gosh. That is so generous of you. Thank you so much. And congratulations, truly lost gamer, on your gifted sub. Good afternoon, dupe. You've walked right into a hype train. Just passing it on like gas. <laughs> oh, God. All right, 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 all right. The great one speaks to me, you see. Wait, outsiders. Kael'thas did not send you. Good. Save some of that for later. The prince, you release the prisoners. With holiday time training for a half marathon, got an eight mile run today. Oh wow! Go you! Some of the most dangerous I am in existence here in these cells. extremely unfit. Let me introduce like you extremely to unfit, but I'm working on it slowly but surely. Like I don't want to like. I have a habit in the past what I've done is when I've gone to like exercise or train or something like that I've, I've pushed myself too hard because I have really high expectations yes, of yes, myself another. and then Your I'll damage myself somehow like pull a muscle or get bloody exhausted or just hurt myself oh, in some way and then not do it again for like ages because I'm power. injured and I shouldn't do that because if I push myself I'll make it worse and blah 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 so I'm, I'm trying to take it slow this time around. I'm trying not to get ahead of myself. I'm trying to really actually take it slow so that I can keep it up, you know. Oh, Rel with the cheer. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. I will do better, oh great one. Um lowly. I don't care who you are. Trying to avoid walking into trains. It's strangely fitting to the sound of your name. Ah, uh, your makeup looks great as always. I mind you to schedule your massage. Thank you. Yeah, I, I do need to do that. I do need to do that. I've got a gift card and everything, but like, I need to like actually. Yep. Yep. So it easy. Definitely wins race. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like it's not. I'm not completing each session and, you know, totally fine at the end of it. I'm wrecked. I'm, I'm tired and I'm a little bit sore. Not like sore, sore, but just kind of like, hey, afterwards. But that's the point. I have to push myself out of my comfort zone to improve, but not so far that I damage myself. So, yeah, I'm taking it slow and steady. I've got, like, a, a training plan and I f I'm decided that if I, if I can't do, if I cannot do a training session... Like, they've been, so far, they've been okay. Like, I've been able to do it, but I've been exhausted. If I get to a point where I can't finish it, like, I have to stop early or I can't finish every rep or whatever it happens to be, then I'll repeat that one next time. And I'll repeat it until I can do the whole thing start to finish. And then move to the next one. After. Do you know what I mean? I, I feel like that's going to be a good measuring stick of am I, am I capable of moving on yet? Yes, because you can do this, therefore you can try the next thing. I think that's going to be... Um, but yeah, so far so good. So far I've, I've been able to complete everything fairly soundly. Um, so yeah, we'll just we'll see how I go. Keep pushing it. We'll see how we go. 81% of level 1 on the hype train. My goodness. Thank you so much, guys, for your generosity and your support. Oh, remember all of that cash is going towards my dentistry because, uh, you know, 23 grand is not a small number uh, of monies. Um, so yeah, that's where that'll be going. So very, very much appreciate the help. You know, you know I do, but I feel like, I feel like I, I want to tell you more because like, it feels good to know you're appreciated. It feels good to hear it, right? Feels good to hear it. Onward. Down the stairs. What do we got? Eight minutes. I reckon I can fit another run in. See if I can't get those last two little bitties. Those Ethereum, the the prison key things are an absolute pain. Absolute pain in the ass. Um, there's like a whole. I, on fear, obviously, I can just grab them and go because like she's done all the quests and the storm and all that kind of stuff back 
it was current. But um, I've been trying to figure out what exactly I need to do to be able to get to the point where I can get the bloody things to drop. Um, and it's really confusing. So that's fun. Um, but I, I think I found a couple of guides on how to start, how to get them to start dropping. Um, cause I've got a bunch on fear, which is nice. Uh, but of course there are going to be things that those prisoners can drop that fear can't use. And so she won't be able to learn them. Fortunately. The fact that those are all registering as zero copper, that doesn't look right, Meaty. I feel like there's something hinky with this setup. Um, so obviously you've got Loot Appraiser installed and you've got Loot Appraiser Challenge installed because if you didn't have those two installed, you wouldn't be able to actually do anything with this. Um, you've got TSM. I'm assuming you've got TSM installed have you got the desktop app installed stay a while like and I listen I got that missing from the instructions in my link um uh what's written on your shirt uh bella bella porch i think her i think it's pronounced porch um she's an artist she's a musician um and a little she was she was a tiktoker and she got a record deal uh, and she's not bad. <laughs> she's really not bad. And, um, as like a little side thing with GGWP, um, one of the, one of the staff members there reached out to a couple of us who were like really involved with GGWP at the time. Like, you know, we were giving tons of feedback and we were in pretty much constant communication with them and all that kind of stuff and said, Hey, do you know of this person? And I, I went and looked her up and I'm like, I didn't, but now I do. And you know, it's a banger. Like I like her music and they're like, okay, well we have these things. And so because she was releasing a single, um, I think it was Warner Brothers. I think she signed to Warner Brothers, put together like a kit of um, bits and pieces and a couple of shirts and, and some barware and uh, all this kind of stuff to um, like in a package to, to promote the single. And so, um, yeah, they sent me one, which is really awesome. Um, so yeah, go definitely go check out her music. It look, it's 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 hip hop, but also like like I would call them it, it's it's a banger, but it, it's like a like a pop banger. It's somewhere between pop and R and B. I'm not sure what like I'm bad at music genres. I know what I like. I listen to it and it, I I can jam to it and so I enjoy it. Um, but yeah, she's she's pretty she's pretty talented, pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I highly recommend going and checking that out. Uh, but her last name is spelled P-O-A-R-C-H, which is why I'm, I think it's Porch. But I'm, what is happening? It's fine. Little butt flaps were kind of, <laughs> was not so sure what was going on there. Um... That's it, like instructions didn't mention that. So I forgot. Oh, okay. All right. Noted. Um, yes. So the reason why you need the desktop app is because uh, TSM is great with doing all the stuff in game and interacting with the auction house and stuff. But when it pulls uh, like the, the data source, like the price sources, they come from the internet. Um, and so the TSM app has to talk to the TSM website, the TSM add-on has to talk to the TSM website somehow, and they do that via the desktop app. So the desktop app pulls the data from the website, sticks it in the add-ons folder, so that when you launch the add-on, it has all that data there waiting for it. That's basically how that works. So because it doesn't have that data to pull from, it just assumes everything is zero gold. Uh, which is wrong! You have made gold this run, I promise! I promise. Um, but yeah, that might be what's causing it. Uh, next dungeon will be Botanica. Botanica. Uh, so you get ads from GGP when it's a two now. Wow, that's awesome. I don't think I've gotten any ads from them. I do see their stories, um, but I don't think I see ads. Ooh, tasty. But maybe it's because I follow them already. I'm not sure. Maybe they've specifically targeted people who aren't already following them. 
think that's a thing you can do. Uh, this challenge is just annoying. In the dungeon? Yeah, the last boss. Yep, yeah, he's annoying as hell. Um. Using as much as Ah, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Cool, awesome. Well, hopefully that works. And if it does work, I'll know that that's the answer from now on, which will be really useful. Because I th I'm pretty sure that's it, but I don't actually know. <laughs> Would I call on you? Ever do your heavy lifting? Most likely. When I need someone to prance around like an overstuffed peacock, I'll call on you. Then I'll commit to this one on target for my do you know about commitment? You're the one who should be. Now I'm really angry. No pattern. Did get that one. We complete that. Could have been better on seeing the front. Yeah, no. But it is cool, hey. She's got a very um. Very specific, but she's got a very specific brand. Like her her personal brand um, is very like don't mess with me, and her music is is very um like the like lyrically it's I am who I am. Go screw yourself. Like it, it's very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, just not going to use a complete app during the next round. They're right after. Perfect. Well, they don't take too long to install, so you should be able to, like... Wait, I'm going... Like, I'm, we're going to be setting up the next round for a little while. Like, at least five minutes or so. So you should have more than enough time to get everything set up. Um, the TSM desktop app doesn't take long at all. You just have to install it, which only should, should only take a couple minutes. It's a fairly small program. And then it'll just run updates in the background. And that's, that's it. Done. Finished. Um, so you, sh you, if you, if you're doing it right now, you should be good for next round. They're, they're not a, it's not a lengthy install or anything. If you want to, of course. Um, can't fit another run in. That's okay. I don't remember how many I ended up getting done. Let's say, keep pushing the wrong button. I knew the prince would be angry, but I. I have not been myself. I had to let them out. Be quiet. <laughs> the great one speaks to me, you see. Uh, I've stuffed peacock. <laughs> Kill boss, did not send you. <laughs> Hello, oh, Dark. How are you doing? I'll just tell the prince you released the prisoners. Up until just now. <laughs> totally fine. It's yeah, all on the way. Uh, trade skill master website. Um, desktop app installation the from there takes no time at all. Sense. Really, really quick. Let me um, you it, it, I think it does get you to log in with your Trade Skill Master website account. So, because when you log in, you make a web, you make an account on the website, so you can choose what your what your um, servers are, so that you're not downloading data that you don't need. Yes. Yes. Uh, and then you Another. log in with your account your in the desktop app, mine. so that it knows which servers to pull for. Uh, but that's it. There's no, like, it's very quick and simple. Of incomprehensible uh, diva. Power. Very quick and simple. Where in Bonzo's brass buttons am I? And who is... Yeah! <laughs> oh, that is one mother of a headache. What is this? A lowly gnome? I will do better, oh great one. <laughs> Lowly? I don't care who you are, friend. No one refers to the mighty Millhouse Manastorm as Lowly. So many no hydrates. what goes on here, but I will gladly join your fight against this impudent imbecile. Oh. Prepare oh, to defend <coughs> your Okay, we're good. Oh, you are so wise. We're good. Yes, hmm. I see it now, of course. I just need to get some things ready first. You guys go ahead and get started. Some of some water. <sighs> Fantastic. Don't die trying not to. Trying not to. Thank you, Sheeps. That's alright, I'm... I'm good. I'm good. There you go, that's it. Runs finished, so I'm gonna finish this one off because I still need a breastplate as boss. Oh, a stretch! Gnome Extreme. Okie dokie, we can do that. Oh, that felt good. The mighty legion. 
Welcome, oh great one. Good choice, yeah. <laughs> oh, it uh, depends on the person. Some people might think it's a good choice, others might not. I got it! Oh my god. Oh my god. So, 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 where is... Where am I? Architraz. Oh, excuse me. We went from 34.62 to 80.76. I feel like I need to do this more often for these for these Sundays. Like, just pick a handful of dungeons and just do it. Because that that's a huge jump. 34.62 up to 80.76. I am, uh... Who am I? <laughs> I'm impressed. Where are you, thing in my eye? Do you exist? Or are you a phantom? something there but I can't see it. Damn it! It's fine. <clears throat> I don't need to the stream goal indeed. The, the community challenge. Hello Daz. Uh, if I perform niche comedy is when someone is harmlessly choking on like water or swallowed wrong or something and you just deadpan say don't die. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh dear. Okay so we are confirmed. That, so tour pile down the bottom here is meaty. Uh, well done on third place. Look, you play, it's on the podium. It's fine, it's fine. Um, but the that's if you hover over there, because of all those zero coppers, what that's telling me is that there's something wrong with the setup. So I'm pretty sure it's the TSM desktop app because it's not in my instructions on how to set yourself up for these. So I need to fix that. Um, is that... Let me, I'll check when I when I set up for the next one. When I get out of here, go to the next one and set up the invites, I'll jump in and correct it because I'm pretty sure it's a bot command, right? That where that is where I have the instructions. Um, but then we have our alt who is, I want to say apathy, but I don't know if that's true. I can't remember. Apathy's not here. God oh, damn it. I got it wrong. I'm so sorry. Uh, and then I won! Look, I did a thing, guys. I won a thing. Go me. Um, <laughs> I never win any- whoa. That's actually- I can't say that anymore, can I? Because I'm, I'm winning at a few things now. Um, I want to summon a Seeker! <laughs> well, look, it is It is a Sunday and Seeker does have squids, aka children, to deal with. So it's, um, look, I would, I would imagine that she'll be here when she can. Uh, in a similar vein, at work, if that happens, someone's having a harmless coughing or sneezing fit, we ask them if they could die a little quieter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've, I've heard that one a lot, and I like that too. It's good fun. Uh, or ask them not to die. Is the paperwork is horrendous? Correct. Yeah, could you just, could you be careful? Because I really don't want to... It's like, it's like when Jas is doing stupid things. And I say, you know, don't hurt yourself. Um, please, you can't, you can't die. I need your help paying rent. Um, yeah, that's... Yeah. Same sort of vein of humour. I don't know if he does something on his computer. Antivirus won't let me go around it. Oh, we just have to continue coming last. Oh my god, Meaty, that sucks. Um, is it, like, is it a work laptop or something like that? I think we ask him to step outside when it's no longer our issue yet. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's fantastic. Uh, or die in a corner that won't be in the way. Oh, when someone asks you to do something or hand them something, you say no while doing the thing. I do that all the time. All of the time. Just ask Jas. It pisses him off sometimes. He knows I'm joking, but he's just like... Oh, dearie me. Fade, Zam, Meaty, Draz, and Sect. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Do that one always? Yes, it's best. It's so much fun. Because it's harmless. Like, it's harmless. You don't need to offend or upset people in order to make funnies. It's great. Uh, okay, I am placing this one. I don't have any quests to place specific units, so I'm just trying to level up what I've got. Alrighty, it's bot time. Bot time! Na 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 bot time. That tune works with so many bloody things, I'll tell you what. 
Okay, but, but, but Botanica, there we go. All right, so this one's at 71.42, which is a fair bit higher, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna minimize the time walking because that's not, we're not gonna do anything with that. Uh, bot's down here. Bot's really, really close. It's why we're doing bot next, because it's like right there. Don't forget to empty your bags. <laughs> Many deals Look, I remembered. Friend you proud of me? <laughs> like you. <clears throat> I'm gonna close that and close that. <clears throat> We're gonna stop. Uh, okay. Let's sew all this off. Uh, for a bit parental duties cold. Totally fine, Ali. Totally fine. Uh, apparently my granddad used to say if I die, drag me out on the sidewalk, put my lunchbox in my hand, say I was on my way to work! <laughs> yep. Yep, because if you're on your way to work and an accident happens, it's considered a workplace thing. <laughs> That's fucking great. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh, well, I love it. Friend of the Grummels. Uh, like when I was getting personal training many years ago, for what my trainer, I'll bitch and moan and just say, nope, but I'll do the thing. Good I just need to vent. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm, uh... I, yeah, I usually have to tell them, like, they're, they're, I, I will, I will complain. I will mostly be fine. But please note, I am, there are actual medical conditions going on here. So, like, I hope you know how to tell the difference between someone who's just complaining and someone who actually needs to stop, because good luck. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I absolutely had a habit of pushing just a bit too far when I was doing, um, when I was doing trainery type dealies. Oh, a leather piece I don't have yet. That's cool. Block box and this. Okay. Goody good. All right. Where's... So we're going for the Botanica. Why can't I... Do I have to finish it? Like... Oh, do I cancel? There we go. All right. There we go. Oh, and do I have any more? Let me just double check for... No, no friend requests. Okay, cool. Awesome. We're not missing anybody. Uh, she remembered. I did for once in my life. Where's my G-Hub gone? Let us gnome extreme it up, shall we? Show off 
for, for me versus them, yeah, like Zam will get a lot more gold credit for it because the EU stuff goes for a lot more. Um, there is no worldwide amount you get for, like TSM doesn't do like a, a global price, it just does global region prices. So unfortunately there's no way for us to even that out. Bit of an oversight, but that's, you know, it is what it is. I think the only way for it to actually, like, clock properly would be for the, for Black to send the item code instead of, like, so at the moment it sends the item code and, like, the price of it, right? And then it just logs it on my end. But if it sent just the item code and then it used my local install to figure out how much it would cost but then it'd show wrong on the leaderboards for them like it'd just it'd all be a bit wonky um yeah it's it's a bit of a tricky one i think never trident 800 gold worth of green for farmer joe step forward i will see you to not get the item that I needed huh hey okay. uh voice mode sh should be finished. Turned it off. It says it's off. I needed, but that's okay. Still got a couple runs to go, so we'll be fine. There you go, fair enough. Fair enough. Do you have a stretch redemption? I will do that in a moment. Greetings, Trash. Hope you're doing well. Oh, so, if you want to join us for the Botanica ooh, uh, lack that we're doing at the moment, you can do so real easily. Just add me to your friends list and. Uh... Hey! Last item I needed from that boss. Fantastic. Uh, and right click me, go down to the bottom of it and join, uh, request to join. It'll automatically add you to it and you can crack on. Uh, otherwise the next 
dungeon we're going to be doing is the Mechanar. Want to join us for that instead? Your choice, of course. <clears throat> I do like that most of this will count for most of the plate wearers as well. You don't have to, like, there's no class specific gear on these, in these dungeons and stuff. You know, like, doing classic raids, good lord. <laughs> like, you've got to, like, it's not just clear it on a clothy, it's clear it on every class because there's going to be bits you're missing otherwise. But, um, that's not too bad. Okay, pop that. Stretch. Oh. Stretch that feels nice. Uh, to normal. Pretty sure no one has guessed the Mount Makeup yet, either. <clears throat> Ooh, pretty! Ooh, another pretty! Rocket to the top, that's fine, I'll take it. Helm. I can! Amazing! Now, could I? I could finish a dungeon. I'm a non clothy. Holy cow. Now that I've said it, of course it won't happen. But that's fine. That's fine. Ping only goes off if it's worth a hundred gold or more. Thirteen gold helm. The specimens. These specimens are very delicate. That was the one I need two items of. Last boss I need anything from. And nothing. If I was just ATTing, I'd run out and reset. But, um, we're not. We're lacking too. Look, I zipped up to the first place, and now I'm back down to third again. Come on.
What elevation is this? You will die! Hey, Scarlet, how you doing? But you, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Been fairly productive stuff done, which is always a nice feeling. Productivity? Indeed we do. Feeling. He's made it to 50! Congratulations! Well done. Two minutes to go. Let's reset and go again. Oh god, Zam with a sword that's 2k. Good lord. Good old Vengeance is even under. Fantastic. Hope that's going very well for you. My Demon Hunter on Alliance side is 60 now, which is very nice. 11, level 50 horde now. 33 more at 46. Awesome! Fantastic news. How's my bags going? Oh crap, I can't eat empty them. For the Alliance! I have many, many wares. May your feet find good trails. <laughs> many farewells. Farewell, friend of no. the Rummels. She'll probably clean out at the end of the lack, but that's fine for now. We're a third of the way through. <clears throat> so many commands, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I think I might need to make like a a spin with a link or something because it's just too many. Although that means I have to update it. That command automatically updates because it just pulls straight from the bot and dumps into chat. But, um, yeah, it's a few too many. recently. Awesome! I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> I wonder if that's actually still up. So Tom was a developer that I met at last packs and um 
we were talking about the sounds and stuff in the game. Not necessarily just music, but like soundscapes as well. And uh, when I mentioned that I was a streamer, he asked if he could like send me a link and stuff like that to get as many people as possible to take the survey. But I wonder if it still works or if it's finished and he's wrapping it up. the elementals count to gold tally? That's a really good question. I'm not too sure it is. Um, I don't think I've done this on a mining capable tune. Um, I've also not, uh, like, herbalized the freyas. I'm not sure if they can be herbed, but, um, I assume they would be, because they're plants, right? Um, but yeah, it's, it's been a really long time since I've done that, so I'm not sure. No, you, you can't, it doesn't look like you can herb right there. Interesting. Uh, not sure. No only BOE items, there you go. Well yeah, but I guess ore is technically BOE as well. And it counts like currency looted and stuff like that, so it's... I don't know. The specimens. These specimens are very delicate! Mm, elementals when mined drop only greys. Ah, okay, yeah, it doesn't count greys. So then it wouldn't be ore, so it wouldn't count. There you go. Good info. Thank you, Jess. Um, depends what setting you have. I think default is greens are higher, so herbs etc. don't count. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I think that's about right. That sounds like... I've got it set too. And it's only showing up, like only greens and blues are showing, and purples of course, are showing up in that little list, so um, that would make sense. Drop items. Sure. There we go! Thank you very much for everyone who has contributed to, to that answer for ears. Much appreciated. And ears, I did see it was the first time you've chatted here, so welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I hope all that information answered your question. Thanks for being here. What elevation is this? You will die. That's a lie. Yeah, it's a shared appearance. It's okay. Yeah, I've got my ATT on um, unique mode rather than completionist mode, just because um, yeah, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. One girl to my crow for soft and warm. Well, Sunday, you too, Rose. Rest well. And I hope you're feeling real better real soon, eh? Onward. Mm. 
Make sure the microwave dishwasher on, then hit the toaster. Um, in the past, when I've had my toaster trip um, the power, it's always been with sugary treats. So think Pop Tarts, Hot Cross Buns, that kind of stuff. And it's because the sugar is, um, it, the, the, especially if the bread is thick and it's, you know, chunky and it's touching the elements, touching the heating elements, and it joins two of them together and they overheat. And so it trips because it panics. Um, that's always what it's been for me. Um, like I've had smoke coming out of my toaster, uh, and then the, the power is tripped because of, um, like sugar from a pop tart dripping onto the heating element and then dripping onto a second one and connecting the two and just making it overheat. <clears throat> Great prompt indeed. Like, I mean, power, a circuit tripping is a safety mechanism, right? So if something's on fire or it's causing a, a, an element to overheat or something like that, the safe thing to do is to turn it off. And if you're not going to do it, well, the house is going to do it for you. Um, so that's kind of how I've always figured it worked. Also a good thing to always, like really really regularly check the like the crumb tray in your toasters as well because that shit can heat up and if it's fine enough it can heat up to the point where it can like patch you know like burnt smell is not great firstly but um also fire is bad <laughs> so yeah clean out your uh your crumb trays too not, that's probably not going to cause a trip on the power side of things, but um, it's still a good idea to do it. Since we came to Gormet, there you go. Fire equals bad, except when you're a fire mage triggering combustion, in which case fire is good. But yeah, IRL, fire usually bad. Unexpected fire, bad. No fire and no smoke smell equals good. Correct. Correct. Don't let the smoke out. Smoke is important. Let the smoke out, things stop working. The specimens. These specimens are very elements. delicate. Yeah, I, uh, hi, I'm Fire Mage. Name is literally Fiamma. I mean, which is Italian. Flame. I'm, um, yeah. Yep, that's kind of, hi, hello, it me. But safety is still important. Because if you're dead, you can't enjoy fire anymore. So. Where's my if you was on a pilot and you main confirmation? No. Uh, what is my favorite element? This is my favorite, that's not an element. Second best page. Not Frost. Ooh, ping! Still well behind, but that's okay. Having fun, and that's what matters. And I'm still sitting at two items away from completing this entire dungeon. It would be really nice if it would just drop. They would both just drop. Like, next run. Hey, thanks. This is just Ayama through Ice at you. <laughs> oh dear. What oh, is this for? Opposites, like, you will die. Evil. But they can work really well together. They can work really well together. <laughs> yeah. You need two items. Oh, so close, right, Sam? Are they? Are you? Do, are they both from the same boss view as well? 
Or do you at least get, like, two chances to be happy, Pudunja? Like, your entire face. Um... Cool? <laughs> Welcome in, Zero. I hope you're having a lovely day. Oh, got a design. And I also got a nether steel claymore, which on my server goes for 16.39. Zam got 2016 credit for it, but I only get 16.39. Down to one, nice. Fire mages, fire is good fire, yes. I mean, quarter eyes heals me, so there's that. Ah, oh, crap, inventory small. I didn't check. Damn it. It's not destroying that many items, it's destroying one item. Oh, that's so strange. The destroy trash button on Ludipraise is not working. Meaty and sect. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Damages bosses and helps you destroy bosses. Exactly. But it can also destroy other stuff too, which is why it can be dangerous. Thank you for being pumped as wild spirits. Hope y'all got some delicious tokens. I'm on tier 42 currently, which is fantastic. Uh, place my berserker. Okay. At least I'm almost done. And then I can go outside and put my bags a little. Don't be a hunter. Nice. Enjoy yourself. Who disturbs this sanctuary? Do not. Oh, nice! Here. That's awesome! Fun. Do I have a destroy graze button in the back menu? It's a, it's a vendor graze button and it hasn't been destroyed. It says vendor delete, but before when I pressed it, it's like there's no vendor nearby, and I'm like, I know, I want the delete version. Maybe I'd turned it off somewhere accidentally, but that's alright. We're out now. Um, I have many lucky dudes you like. Go. May your feet find good trails. Good fortune to our friends. I didn't reset it today. Um. The warp infused straight from the warp slinter. Oof. Uh, if you look at the lack of the desktop, eventually install. Ooh, okay, I'll have to have a look. Uh, ah, nice, well done. Um, it's it's Bella Porch. Is not is not metal. Is um pop slash hip hop. It's not a death metal font. It's just stringy shit everywhere. Like, <laughs> she's a, an ex TikToker turned artist, and she's she's pretty fucking talented. <gasps> Community challenge completed. Fantastic. We will be playing TikTok A Tale for two in May. Hear that, Jess? You've been roped into puzzle games. He had already consented prior to me making it a thing. Don't worry. That's how we roll here. Um... Oh, hello, Sen. How are you going? Good evening, Dunno. I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? She's awesome. She's really awesome. Like, yeah. She's she's very talented. Um maybe she do it something else. That's cool though. It is cool, yeah. Um when she was releasing her track Inferno, Warner Brothers, put together a package uh, and because I'd been working a fair bit with GGWP at the time uh, and through- Ooh! Oh, that's one I don't have as well. Nice. 
um, I'd been working with GGWP a fair bit at the time and they reached out and said, hey, we have these packages. Do you, have you interest in this? And I'm like, I didn't know who she is, but now that I've listened to her music, it's kind of cool. Yeah, absolutely, I'll take some. And so, um, sent me out a box that had a couple of shirts in it and, um, uh, like a set of barware and, and all sorts of funky stuff. It was really cool. Like, really, really cool. But yeah, definitely recommend checking her out. It's, um, kinda, like, Step so, it's, it's definitely got that hip-hop feeling to it but it's also quite poppy but it's kind of chill as well like it's it the beat is kind of slower it's not this like upbeat like banger kind of like like club thing it's yeah it's chill and it flows and it's got those hip-hop elements but it's also quite poppy and it's like and the lyrics are just kind of you know it's like i'm a bad bitch and i know it and that's yeah so it's it's cool I like it. <laughs> I like it. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Uh, just not in a raid night. Like, well, look, that'll be up to him. That'll be up to him. Um, it's good too. Awesome. Glad to hear it. Well, reached indeed. Two hundred and fifty k contributed. Fantastic. Does anyone know why my lack box is the value superimposed over the name? This is the form of right. Ooh. Um. Unsure. Are you talking about the this most valuable items one down the bottom? Um. No. I wonder maybe if it's a sizing issue. I'm assuming that you've tried stretching it out and seeing if that helps anything. Um, it might be because you managed to get the stuff installed halfway through it, and so it's bugged something out somewhere. Um, have you tried doing a, a UI refresh, like a reload? Uh, not sure. It's interesting. Some of that is really Eilish. Um, I... Honestly... I respect Billie Eilish. She's done a lot of awesome stuff, but I don't like her stuff. Um, unpopular opinion. I've got no problem, no issue with her whatsoever at all. N nothing at all. There's no nothing wrong with that at all. Um, it's I think her voice, and I think one of the reasons that she is so fucking popular is because her voice has a lot of ASMR qualities. And I cannot do ASMR. It feels like nails down a chalkboard. Um, I've got a couple of covers of her songs in my playlist at the moment, and they are absolutely incredible. I love the music, and it's come up in my, my recommended on Spotify, and I'm like, yes, this is amazing. And I'm like, hang on, this is a Billy cover. And so I jump in and I listen to her version, and I can't do I can't get 30 seconds in without feeling like all the hairs down the back of my neck are standing on. I can't do it. Her, her her music just affects my body in the most negative possible way. I cannot handle it. Um, so nothing against her whatsoever at all, but it's it's the ASMR thing. I can't do it. I fucking hate it. I cannot stand it. Um, and so I don't like her stuff because her stuff is ASMR. <laughs> to a beat. Like, <laughs> uh, bar wear stuff you wear in a bar, I'm assuming not metal bars for clothes. Uh, barware, as in like a cocktail shaker and a measuring thing and a swizzle stick and um, that kind of stuff. Barware. All in gold, which is gorgeous. <laughs> so my quality makes sense. Yeah, no, nah, can't stand her. Um, I mean, she is fine. Can't stand her music. Uh, I guess it's probably more like bartender type equipment. Like bottle opening, correct. Yeah, there is a bottle opener in there as well. Uh, like, yeah, the, the bar blade thing. What about that one? Uh, leaderboard box. Tried reset. Oh, the this one. The... Ah, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it... Mm. Alright, exiting after this run. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder maybe there was an update somewhere that broke something while you were doing the TSM thing. That sucks. I'm sorry. I hope it. I hope it gets fixed up real soon. Uh, absolute worst case, you can close it and look on stream. Although, of course, there'll be a small delay. But there's a small delay on your bot on the this one as well. Like I get something to drop and it takes three or four seconds for it to update too. 
So <laughs> um, makes sense. Awesome. What's the next instance you're running? Sorry, I feel like I should know. Deal no, no, no. It's totally okay. Um, it's uh, Mechana. The, the, so we've done Architraz, we're doing bot, we're going to be running the Mechanar. Uh, and then we're going to be heading to Hellfire after that. Um, yeah, if anyone wants to join us, that's the that's the uh, the goal. It's down here so you can actually see the timer. <laughs> uh, if you're using LVY, it could be a mismatch between the two add-ons. I'm using LVY though. And I've seen, mine seems to be okay. But I mean, it could be, it could be a different setting somewhere in LVI or something, yeah. That makes sense. Like, tableware, exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly the, the, um, context in which I was using it, Kaz. Watch stream. <laughs> hey, nurse, how you doing? Using LVI, has anyone else had the issue? Not me, no. And I'm also using the LVI. Uh, <laughs> Nelly deals for a friend. Um, are you excited for cross faction? <laughs> yes. I am. Uh, because it means that I'm able to play with more of my community. That's, and any, anything that enables me to play with more of my community is not a bad thing in my books. Um, and I really like how they're making it opt-in rather than opt-out. Uh, so that people who are, for example, you know, very much into the role-playing scene and all that kind of stuff can continue doing what they enjoy doing without having their experience affected. Uh, whereas if they decide one day that they do want a little more, you know, variety or whatever, they can they can jump in and turn on and there you go, sort of thing. I, I really like the way that they're not forcing it as a, a blanket thing across everything. It's it's really good. Good. That's an issue with ATT. LVI font fixed it. Ah, there you go. LVI font might do it. That's so interesting. God, isn't it fascinating how everything interacts with each other? Thanks, wonderful. Do you mean the next one be in and out again? What time is oh, totally fine, Kraz. Not a problem at all. Look, hey, it's all about, it's mostly about having fun than, than winning on the leaderboard or whatever. And as long as you have fun, then you're winning, right? Hello, Yuri. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but also not sorry for tagging you in Discord today with the, um, the bundle that I saw from Humble. I just saw it and immediately was like, Yuri! So I, I thought I'd tag you just in case, like, so you didn't miss it, just in case it was something you were interested in. I, I, I don't know, but it made me think of it, so I apologize if that was really annoying. Um, <laughs> I'm not trying to extract cash from you. I'm, I was just, yeah. Could be really good value, especially with a couple of books in there written by NaNoWriMo. There's one in, there's one book in there from the creator of NaNoWriMo, and then there's another one from, I believe, the, they're the executive director of NaNoWriMo or something. I can't remember. I didn't, I didn't read all the things, so there could be more. Um, but yeah, like, I thought that was gonna, yeah, that might have been a fun. Good. All right, I'm gonna stop trying to dig myself out of this hole. Step forward. I will see um. You hope you're well? I am. I am well. Thank you for asking. I have not yet begun to. Shoulders hurt though. I need to go get a, a massage or something. Me thinks. Get my to work last time, seeing the nurse dropping in now. Can't really test now. Bugger. Oh well. That's alright. Next time. This region as well would be icing on the cake. It would. It would. Um, but I, I do kind of feel like if it's something that's possible, they're either working on it already. And they just don't want to share anything until it's further along so that they don't get anyone's hopes up. Or they've already looked into it and it's just not a thing that's possible. Um, given how outspoken the community are about it, I can't imagine that they're just putting their fingers in their ears and la 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 la. I, I, I just can't see that being a thing. Um, they know we want it and I'm sure they're doing everything in their power. And if it's not, if it's not a possibility, I'd say they're probably checking back on it every year or so to see if something's changed to allow them to do it. Um, in terms of, you know, technology availability or whatever it happens to be. Um, but yeah, it would be great. But, uh, look, cross faction step one. It's a nice thing to have too. I have one more thing to get. Holy cow. Holy cow. Um, so the link, thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. Probably look on payday. It sounds like a plan. It sounds like a plan. Yeah, nothing better than getting a ton of resources for a 
heavy discount. <laughs> To get a really priest attack. Oh, good. Okay, thank God for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be interesting going forward with cross faction. Definitely gonna be uh, great, so people don't have to shell out a bunch of money to faction change for friends. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously there are gonna be a handful of things that they won't be able to do cross faction, which I think makes sense. Like, I think that that's the right choice. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. It'll be really interesting. I uh, PVP as a horde. Hunter, so we just think I could be running a dungeon with a previously vanquished foe. That is pretty funky. It's a pretty interesting thought, hey. This was like, oh, it's not even two yet. Is she starting stream early? Ah! <laughs> no, it was for you personally, Yuri. It's for you personally. It's really funny. Damn, look at you go. This is not a bad dungeon to run for the numbers though, hey. I'm not gonna remember that, but it's it's good to know. Another blue. Star this time. Not worth much though. <laughs> Indeed, if you meet a few times, we think I could touch with someone as a previously vanquished foe. Oh dear. Ah. Oh. Nah, you must be out of vendor. It's, uh, it's not deleting stuff. Hmm. I have to summon Katie before we do the next runs. Me thinks. Bots using it regularly until recently. Bots in bot. Funny that. Got a minute and a half left on the timer, so this is gonna be last run anyway. So I'm just taking my time now. Don't really care so much. <laughs> Do not belong here. Go, good luck in your last minute, everyone else. We're gonna head to Mechanor next for anyone in chat who wants to join us. Exclamation add me will get you my battle tag so that you can add me. Uh, and then, um, yeah, head on over to Mechanor and we'll get cracking shortly. Once the time is up, obviously. Many, many wares. Farewell, friend of the Grummels. All right, what do we have here? That's May your my feet find web. good trails. I have many lucky dudes you like. Good fortune well, to our quit. friends. <laughs> I have many, many wares. Oh. Drink. Four of these now, so I'll get rid of, uh... Um... May 
I have many lucky doos you like. Many uh. farewells. Eh? Next in line, please. And then send, send, send. This is mine. It's me. It's me. So me. It's charging my mouse earlier. And I know it's on 100%. So I think it's getting caught on something down the back of um, the desk with all the cables because it was starting to yank. Like, you know what I mean? It, it gets, when it gets caught on stuff, it's just starting to irritate me. So I thought, bugger it. I'll unplug it. All right, empty bags. I feel you, Katie. I feel you. Down to the mechana, and then I'll plug everything in, get the acceptances, and we'll get on our way. I'm um, just looking back in now. Sounds like a plan. I've been reading a bit for the last three hours. Finished my book. I have to get up. First world problems. Indeed. Actually, speaking of reading. Look what arrived. It smells like a new book. And it makes me so, so happy. I haven't started reading it yet, but I'm like, yeah. I'm so excited. Book. Yeah, it's the book. Many happies. Thank you, Kay. Thank you. It arrived Saturday. It arrived yesterday. Jas was like, are you expecting a package? I'm like, when am I not expecting a package? He's like, yeah, fair. <laughs> All right. I'm a set minder heroic. I'm going to go cancel. I'm going to go the mechana. Accept. Send. This looks like a face bruiser too. Yep, it is. It's uh, uh it's a big one. It's a, it's a big, thick, chunky one. I'm really happy. Um, text is is you know reasonable, reasonable size. You can't see anything. There you go. So it's not like it's super duper fine print or anything. Um, where are we at? Four ninety pages. Oh no, wait, that's a. Uh, Acknowledgements. Uh, 488 for the actual book. Instance lock might be a problem. I'm on seven for four minutes. We'll see how we go. Um, hi, the sun well. Hey, Sen! 
Thank you so much for your Prime Gaming sub. Yes, no more ads for you. We have ads turned off for subscribers. Do make sure that you don't have your ad block running, though. Um, there are a handful of ad blocks that have been causing that are causing known issues with Twitch. Basically, when Twitch runs an ad, it um, runs a script first to check whether or not the viewer is a subscriber. Then, if they're not, if it returns a negative, then it runs the ad. If it returns a positive, then it doesn't run the ad for them, right? But the ad blocker blocks that script. So Twitch goes, are you a sub? And the ad blocker goes, go away! And they go, okay then, I guess not. Here's an ad. Um, so, yeah, ad blocker will screw up your, your sub stuff. <laughs> Just to be aware of. Anyway, um... Ah, uh, bought a Harley just before I test positive as well. Looking forward to a small ride today. I've not ridden her yet. Hey, hope she starts after sitting idle in the garage for two weeks. Oof. Maybe give her a couple of, maybe give her a start every so often. Just, you know, while she's sitting idle, just, just run her for a minute and then like turn her off. Obviously open the garage door first. Um, did my company office yesterday when there's no one there? Oh, okay. The lady swung by and picked it up and I'll get it when I'm out of ISO. Of course, of course. Because that, it is the Sylvanas book, the new Sylvanas book. I'm listening to the audiobook. Brilliant. Uh, hopefully instance that won't be a problem. Audiobook is over 15 hours long. Amazing. Amazing book club is about to start reading. You like the show? Never watched it, so the book will be interesting. When you're done with the book, have a watch of the show. See what you think. Surrounding Twitch client. No ad blocker for me. Oh, yeah, they're turning that off soon. Um, so keep an eye out for that. They're, they're, they're completely stopping um, the, the Twitch desktop client. I'm not sure exactly when, but it's something that they've they've flagged as being discontinued. Um, but yeah, uh, once you do eventually transition to the browser, just uh, check your ad blocker settings as well. Anyway, uh, we're we're good. Let's do a ready check. Uh, I'm gonna zone in. I think I'm on heroic. It looked like heroic. So um, for. For Botanica, we started on 71.43 and I got to 92.85. That's pretty damn good. I'm really happy with that. This one, however, on 41.37. Ready, set, go. So this will be, this will be fun. I can never remember what the best route is in here. Aw, thank you, Crom. Much appreciated. I'm glad you liked it. Glad you liked it. Hey, wow! Okay, 1k. Off the bat. Let's go. It means we have terrible luck for the rest of the 45 minutes, doesn't it? Guaranteed. You have approximately five seconds to increase calculations. <laughs> Do you hate you, I'm afraid? Indeed. Always the way. Always the way. That's fine. Cano Lord Capacitus. Hey! I got one new thing, one thing crossed off my list. In ATT at least. Hi, the Sunwell! Ah! And Sen! From a Prime Gaming to a Tier 1 sub, much appreciated. That way it'll actually recur for you automatically without you having to push a button. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Hey. 
<clears throat> I plan it for slain for contingency. We can go back down again. Not prime would order a new. I sure it wouldn't. Converting was a no-brainer. Aww, this is so sweet of you to say. Yeah, prime. Uh, yeah. I I think it's so that it doesn't automatically stick it on the same streamer you've been subbed to, without giving you a chance to choose to possibly give it to somebody else because it's a like a free sub. It's um, like it's giving you the flexibility so it doesn't accidentally take it away from you, which I get, but it's still, yeah. Quests in here, so I should probably put that there. Okay, so this is Nethermancer. I've got two things I need from her. I got none of them. Yay! from Thalion that I needed either. Awesome! Could add a button, let's prime order a new on your select streamer. Yeah, it would be. It would be cool. But, um, I don't know. Yeah. They didn't make that choice, but that's okay. Uh, Draz, Midi, Zam, Fade, and Ali, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Back to the map we go! It's skin chest time! I still need my Bounty Hunter Mage skin, so I hope I get that. I hope you all get skins as well. Let me know. Obviously in half an hour when we get the chest. You can't tell me yet whether you got one. I'm the best lacquer on tonight. Oh, well done, meaty. Good job. That's okay. Look, hey, as long as you're having fun. Yeah, like, no biggie this side. It's totally okay if you get stuff that comes up and whatnot. Totally all right with that. Um, I just hope you're having a blast. Nope, I've already done heroic. God damn it. Get out of the instant sphere. I too am having a fantastic run. In we go. Normal. First pull. Lost and couldn't find gate watcher. Oh no! <laughs> oh no!
don't need anything from that boss anymore. I got the Plasma Rats Hyper Scythe. Yep. <laughs> That's what that is. We're going with it. Instance Lament my worst. Oh no, Zam. Oh no. I tried to avoid it by having like 45 minute things. But yeah, I guess we're not having the 15 minutes proper between them is starting to cause some issues. <sighs> Sorry. Do you know how long until you can get back in? Is it like really long or? <clears throat> Sorry, maybe I'll actually have a chance to win this one, Zen. Let's see, change you for the next one. Sounds like a good plan to me. Uh, well, the next one will be heading to Hellfire. Um, so if it's long enough that you want to log out, switch tune and get it on its way to Hellfire, then switch back and keep going with dungeons. Um, then that might be an idea. Space out the dungeons! Oh dear. Oh dear. It's not, it's not me slowing down that's the issue, it's everyone else zooming along. That's the problem. Have you been reading in Shadowlands at all? Yes! Yeah, I have. Um, I did a fair bit of Nathria, and I did uh, a little bit, a little bit of Sod. Not a whole ton, um, but I have been doing... Uh, I've done a couple of rounds in uh, Sepulchre. I haven't done LFR, but I've done a couple of runs, a couple of nights on normal. Uh, I think we got to seven bosses down. Uh, but next month, um, I'm hoping uh, my stuff will have calmed down enough that I'll be able to jump in for raids again. I do enjoy raiding. It's just, uh, unfortunately, a lower priority than a lot of other things that are going on in my life at the moment. So, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, so Nethermancer, again, didn't drop me any of the- uh, either of the two items I need from her. But we do have Pathalion, the calculator, coming up, and he's got four items that I need. So, fingers crossed he'll give me at least one of them. But he has a really big loot table, so... I always blame you. That's what I do, yep. Yep. Tear shoulders from LFR today! I think I saw that in Discord. Congratulations! Well done! I don't have any tier yet, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll get my hands on it eventually. I have been waiting for you. Well, then give me your gear, please. We are on a strict timetable. You will not interfere. No, that's a lie. Edge of the Cosmos is a shared appearance. Lies and slander. Yeah, for the vote, of course, of course. But hey, can't complain when it happens, can we? Can't wait till I update my pally at the end of this stream and just watch all those numbers jump. Like it's gonna be a really good feeling. <laughs> you have a proximity. Congratulations to live. 
Dang. Uh, and they go as far as six, uh, ten, so yeah, normal, rating, critical, and then they come back. It's me, Paladin, and me left, and Kate and Alliance. Raids now, both interesting and challenging. Yeah, it's a different kind of challenge, isn't it? Um, but yeah, there are a lot of guilds out there that do take, like, cross-server folk and stuff like that as well. Um, so it's, it's well, and, um, Perky Pugs, of course, is somewhere that I always recommend to people who are looking to raid without a set group. Um, Perky Pugs do some really awesome stuff. Yeah. There are a lot of awesome options out there for people to, to do their thing now, which is really great. Nightmares was fun. Spooky, but but fun. Um, it was like a, a little horror game. And I, I remember I like looked and was like, oh my god! Look at her, isn't she terrifying? She's enormous and blah 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 blah. And then we looked elsewhere and we looked back and I'm like, oh! Good. She's gone. Brilliant. Where? This is not brilliant. <laughs> it was, yep. Yep, I'm sure you all read that and immediately heard it exactly how I would have said it anyway. So. <laughs> Uh, I have 80 quotes per strong. Giving me the same five ones! Um, how many are there? They're actually. Ooh, another 200 piece. 77 quotes plus a zero. Plus a quote zero. Uh, Alan's quote. It's not an add on, it's a community. It's a Discord community. It's called Perky Pugs. You've spelt it correctly, though. Mm -mm. They have a Twitter account, they have, it's a Discord server, which is where everyone kind of does the thing and finds groups and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's Perky Pugs, named after the pet that you get from queuing with X number of people for the achievement, which I think is really cool. You're very welcome. Finally. She give me something I need. She still owes me a Jade Skull breastplate. But, you know, we'll take we'll take the Stellaris. We'll take the Stellaris. Now, calculator needs to give me some stuff. We'll be we'll be rolling. Some green in that column instead of all the yellow we currently have. For ATT. Need this gear you will use, just what you need for collections. I need for collections. This is Burning Crusade Dungeons, which is the, the first expansion. So you had vanilla, the original game, and then you had Burning Crusade, the very first expansion. Um, so this is very old. This is 50 year old content. You will not interfere! Uh, so none of my characters need this gear. <laughs> It's just for the completion stuff. Go. Okay. Set instances. Yeah, we're good for another go. I don't need to clear my bags. Shit. How many minutes do I have till I lock out? Nine instances. We got two minutes till another one opens. Yeah, we're fine. Although we might start getting close. So we've done quite a few runs and we've still got 27 minutes to go. This is a quick dungeon. I forgot that this one had a, an exit at the end as well. Definitely um, makes it easier to get out, obviously, but it cuts into how many... 
runs you can do before you get squished. Either lockouts. It's time for Rudy's here getting cold. Wife has broken out hers. I got last year with a promo code. Amazing! Amazing. Hopefully when it gets a little chillier in Brisbane, they'll uh they'll want to work with me again. Um, they did say in the last email that I sent, like the very last email I sent with all my um, analytics and stuff. Um, they were like, awesome! Uh, you know, we will, you know, we consider partnering again with, with people we've partnered with prior, uh, based on, you know, local temperature, local climate and stuff like that as well. So I'm guessing that they put that in just so I didn't feel like they were ignoring me for the past six months or so. Um, but yeah, once it gets a little chillier again here in Brisbane, uh, fingers crossed, I'll get to work with them again, because they were really good to work with. Everything was really straightforward and they were clear, they were very clear about what they needed from me, um, what was on offer in terms of payment and all that kind of stuff, like it was really just really easy to work with them, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, definitely still not a, uh, not an affiliate code, but, uh... You're welcome to use it if you wish. to feel better. Yeah, first seventy-two hours of COVID for me were definitely the worst. Yeah, it's that. It, it's the same thing. Like when you get sick with anything, hey, and you, you have to like take the time to let your body do the thing. But eventually, you know your body's still broken. You know that you can't do a ton of stuff. You can't do what you usually do. But you also don't just want to sit in bed because you go batty, you get just so bored and stuff. So yeah, having something to keep your mind occupied that isn't going to affect your body too much. It's a, it's a, did you see brrr? It's a, it's a really good, uh, really good plan. But yeah, ATT definitely keeps your mind occupied, that's for sure. Unable to leave, COVID sucks, yep. I have been lucky enough to have not had to learn what it feels like. From what I have heard, it is not a pleasant experience. <clears throat> I for painful death. Yeah. Sitting on the couch playing Switch all on the TV all day yesterday. Amazing. Have you had a blast? It's a really good thing about a Switch, you know, you can hook it up to the TV or you can grab it out of the dock and play it in bed, like there's just, you have so many options. I should find anyone. Yeah, neither would I. Some Switch and then some, wow, they see people go crazy staying at home, they never took into account gamers who are in their prime at home. Well, no, but what they were taking into account, Crom, was people who are actual extroverts who need daily contact with other humans, physical contact with other humans to feel love to feel wanted to feel sane all that kind of stuff like humans are incredibly different from one another and i mean i have like obviously like i thrived i'm i'm doing great like i was i was fine with all of that i was doing really really well but i have colleagues who had never experienced depression or anxiety before who found themselves having therapy twice a week and, and taking medication and all because they just, they couldn't function without having contact with other humans. So like, it's, you know, it's great that we were able to get through it easily, but it's also really important to recognize that so many people really, really did have it rough, even if you don't know any of them. But yeah, it's uh, pretty full on. Uh, but I'm I'm thankful that we're at the point that we're at now. Um, I remember seeing, I think it was on Reddit this morning, there's a, a major city centre in India. I think it was Mumbai, but I could be very wrong about that. But there was a major city centre in India that has reached 100% vaccination. We, and they're the first, the first city in the world to, to achieve it. And that's pretty freaking awesome. That's that's pretty freaking awesome. So yeah, we're, we're definitely... We're getting there. There are still issues, of course, as there always will be. Humanity will always have issues. But, like, I think that's pretty awesome. Um. Alrighty, calculator, can you please give me Pythalion the calculator? Two, please. One, okay, good. One item. I'll take it. There's three left on the list, but I got one of them. 
I'll take it. <laughs> I'm gonna need to do a bag clean out. Uh, vaccination program has definitely saved lives. Yes. Yup. I agree. I have many, many wares. Farewell, friend of the Grummels. Good fortune to our friends. That'll do for now. Um, Farewell, friend of the Grummels. Let's head back in. I uh, never thought experts didn't mean to see my carry. No, 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 of course, of course. But it's, yeah, just a, like, a gentle reminder, because I've, I've definitely seen a lot of people, especially in the gaming sphere, talking about, like, oh, it's really not that big a deal, just stay home, we do it all the time, blah, 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 blah. But it, you know, for, for some people, it genuinely is a big deal. Um, so I, ooh, shiny. I don't have that either. Oh, amazing. Amazing. That's brilliant. Um, but yeah, it is it is important to recognize that um, just because one person and all of their friends experience says one thing doesn't mean that people absolutely haven't experienced the opposite side. Um, but no, he didn't definitely didn't come across as uncaring, more just a, a PSA for anyone who hasn't, you know, kind of clicked that it's different for different people, I guess. You uh, I can't live. imagine the state I'm in right now if I hadn't had all three doses. Yeah, I've had two. Um, which I was grateful to be able to get given my medical situation. Uh, and I was very recently informed that it will indeed be safe for me to get a booster. So I'm really happy about that. And uh, one of our local places is offering boosters alongside a flu shot, which is great. Except I can't have a flu shot, so <laughs> so I'll need to like kind of yeah, I need to go talk to them. Um, lucky I have NHS. Went to work every day through all the lockdowns. Wow, yeah, far out. I mean, yeah, it's it's on the one hand, you're lucky because you were able to have a job and you were able to get out of the house and you're able to, you know, all that kind of stuff that a lot of people weren't able to do. But at the same time, with those benefits came an extreme danger, like actual, like extreme danger. Um, so, yeah, no, it's a uh, massive respect to, to people who, who, you know, served on those front lines. Um, in, in the healthcare industry and all that kind of stuff to, you know, do what they had to do. On behalf of people who aren't dickheads, thank you. Like, <laughs> so I imagine people who are dickheads probably wouldn't want to say thank you, but that's fine. Um, uh, I had to have all three, otherwise I'd be unemployed, indeed. Yeah, look, I, um... I, our, um... We had to provide, like, we had to do our whole, you know, proof of vaccination, all that kind of stuff. Um, but because of my medical situation, um, and I couldn't get in to see my specialist. So they were like, have you had your booster? And I said, I haven't. Here is, here is my stuff. This is, this is why. Um, and they're like, okay, you need to find out if you can have it or like, you need to confirm whether or not you can have it. I said, I, I know, I want to. And they're like, you know, why haven't you? I'm like, well, I have to speak to my specialist. Well, why haven't you spoken to your specialist? Because they're a medical professional in a pandemic. Right, okay, cool. When are you gonna be able to speak to them? So um, yeah, no, my, my employer was very understanding. Um, and cause I had all the documentation and everything, obviously. And uh, yeah, now that I can get it, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I need to, I need to actually, like, find time to book in and all that kind of stuff, but that's okay. I should be able to get it fairly easily. It's just a matter of timing it so that I don't, just, you know, in case of side effects and stuff, find a, find a really chill stream on the menu so that I can have it done before that one, so that if, if I need to just be kind of quiet for a stream, it won't have too much of an effect. Don't 
Hey, I told you. She owed me it and she gave me it. She knew. She knew. <clears throat> While I care about how it's impacted others, I feel like our side is often gotten or dismissed as not normal. Yeah, I think... I think it may have... For some, for people who are conscientious and people who actually care, I think these last couple of years um, have given people an appreciation for that this is a different way to live. And you know, like, I, I think, yeah. I mean, the, the number of my like colleagues and stuff like that who have come to me for video game recommendations. <laughs> Like, do uh, you know what I mean? And and being able to share, and then they'll come back to me a couple of weeks later, oh my God, I tried this one and I absolutely loved it. Do you have any more like that? And oh, do you know what I mean? Like, so it's really kind of, it's connected me with people who I don't think I would have been as connected with otherwise. Uh, that was a shared appearance and so not actually a new one. Um, so yeah, like, I mean, obviously there are gonna be negatives in every situation and it, it is what it is, but like, Look for the, we can look for the positives. It's a thing we're allowed to do. And uh, given how much negative has been going on, I'm uh, choosing to focus on the positives. Friends and I weren't too concerned with getting the booster for a bit there. We're definitely going to get it, but it wasn't a rush sort of thing. Turns out travel insurance is moot if you do not have the booster as well. So needless to say, we went and got our third shot. Yep. Yep. Like, well, that's the thing with, with pretty much any type of insurance, it's going to be like, you need to do everything that you possibly can, else we ain't going to pay. Like, you can't, you can't, you know, get health insurance and then like go stand in the middle of the road and be like, I got run over. You need to, you need to pay for this, 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 like it's... There are, there are some things that they'll cover, but if, if it's clearly not an accident, if you're trying to hurt yourself, a lot of it's just not gonna, yeah. Um, uh, second last teacher at my school to get COVID. Done. Done. Uh, tough time for sure. Department was converted from an operating suite to an intensive care unit. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I think a lot of people didn't realize, like, how much it affected other areas of the healthcare system because everyone had to be pulled on board to help with the pandemic. It took up, like, you know, like you said, the, the rooms got converted, which means that fewer people are going to be able to get in for their surgeries and stuff because there aren't as many operating suites available because it's being used for goddamn COVID. Like, everything slows down. Everything. Um... Yeah, like I had I had a couple of specialist appointments cancelled because they just couldn't like they couldn't even do telehealth, they were just too busy. And I was considered a maintenance case as opposed to like someone who needed urgent medical attention, and so they cancelled me and pushed my my visit back further, which I was totally okay with, because I am a maintenance case and I and then I, I know that if something changed and something went wrong, I could reach out to them and they would find a way to fit me in. Like I, I'm even though it's a public hospital, they're really, really good and super, super supportive. Like, at least my experience has been that of one of, one of support. So, um, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's rough. It's rough. Uh, we're choosing to make resident with anxiety due to workloads. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I can't so my head. Amazing. I'm so glad that you were able to do that. That's really good. The UK reinstates the vaccination program, starts rolling out second booster across the nation. Yeah, we've, um, in Australia, there are, so obviously you've got your two vaccinations and then you've got your booster shot. Then there are people with certain medical conditions that get a, a second booster. And then people with certain, certain medical conditions get a third booster, so they end up with five doses total, but it's only for very specific medical cases. Uh, like, you need to have an, an, a diagnosis of this, this, or this to get everything, because um, you're considered extremely high risk or whatever, and I get that. I get that. Um, you know, the, the resources are spread thin as it is. Um, trying to get everyone to have five doses is just going to spread it even thinner. Um, 
So yeah, I, I am glad that those who need it are getting it though. It's it's good to hear. Um the other last year's major reason was last November. Uh constant paying for healthcare is so alien to UK citizens. We take our NHS for granted at times. Yeah. Yeah, it's um uh, same thing with Medicare here. To an extent, it's not, I don't think it covers quite as much as the NHS does. I think Medicare is a little bit more restricted, but I could be wrong. I don't know a ton. I know a lot about my circumstance, but I don't know a lot about the NHS or about Medicare as a program, as a as a whole thing. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not in the healthcare. <laughs> like I'm not in healthcare. Um, my mother is, but I like. You know, it's not, yeah. So, um, yes. Uh, so yeah, but I do, like, yeah, people absolutely, um, the fact that we can just get all this stuff done. Um, I think the fact that, um, like, I am I am a person of the internet, like, I spend the vast majority of my time on the internet, um, most, I would say, like, the vast majority, if not all, of my friends, IRL, I originally met online, like vast majority I originally met online and um, so because of that a lot of them are from all over the world so I have more of that appreciation for how it is in, in other areas but th yeah there are there are a lot of people who don't spend as much time on the internet as we do, like they just don't, their, their hobbies include the sun and the grass and the trees the um so <laughs> they just don't do what we do and so they don't have contact with people from vastly different circumstances than their own and so they don't get it and that's that's not necessarily their fault it's just it's the way that the world is that's okay not worry crazy i have a feeling people have full bags what do we reckon oh, do i have a deal for you right back Glad I could help. Zoom! Ten minutes ago. What? Outside? Oh, I know, right? What the hell? Who even does that? <laughs> Sun, the grass, the trees? Panic. Yep. Look, I've been going outside at least three times a week. That's where I go for my jog. Oh, I've entered 10 instances, but I've got another, like, it's going to drop down to 9 in 40 seconds, so I think I should be fine. But I'm definitely getting close to uh, being locked out, I think. Is life outside the internet? Heresy! I know, right? Amazing. Some people genuinely only use the internet for Spotify and Netflix. And maybe a social media. <laughs> I'm not Harley if she starts. Yes! Oh, you're so welcome, Sam. We'll see you next time. Have fun. Be safe. Please be safe. I'm sure you will be, but we care. We be safe. Do the right things. You have people exist. I know. They they actually do. They're not just in TV shows. They actually exist. Some person trees on the internet. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. Viruses are by mutating, the only thing we can do to manage the virus, unfortunately. Addition insurance companies, therefore we have to pay a premium to be injured. Viruses survive by mutating, and the only thing we can do is to manage this virus. Unfortunately, COVID will become a condition for the insurance companies, and therefore we have to pay a premium to be insured. That's the thing, like, we don't in Australia. Uh, nor in the UK. If you are unwell, you can get care for free. As long as you're a citizen or a permanent resident of Australia, then you can get care for free. Depending on your condition, it might take like, if you rock up to a hospital dying, then they will absolutely fix you right then and there. But if you, if you have some like unknown condition that's causing some wonky side effect here or there, it might take you a while to see a specialist, but you will, and it will be free. I was diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis in uh, when I was 26. I'm now 32, and I have not paid a cent for my medical care. I have paid for my medication, but my medication is $1,450 a month, and I pay $45. Zero cents. 
So we in Australia don't have to pay for insurance. We don't have to pay a premium to be insured. You get you get benefits by doing that. You get to, you get seen faster. Sometimes you can choose a specialist that you want to see rather than being allocated to a specialist like I was. That kind of thing. Um, but you don't need to. It is not a necessity and not a requirement to be healthy. Uh, Zam, Ali, Tig, and Spam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Did anyone get skins? Did I get a skin? I don't think I did. I think I would have noticed if Yeah, I didn't. Did anyone get a skin? Go outside. It's how I get to work where I'm also inside. <laughs> oh, dear. That's hilarious. Alrighty. Onward. Uh, shit. Yes. Got a saint skin. Hey, Draz. Congratulations. Already have all of them. Well done, Zam. Well done. Yeah, I'm still working on that last one. I'm sure I'll get it. We're pretty focused on going to those skin chests when they pop up, so hopefully I'll get it, but we'll see. We'll see. One day the Arcano wave the Arcano weave boots pattern will drop. One one day. Not this day, but one day. I reckon it'll be one of those things where like I'm at 100 percent across every single tune for all the, the item drops and I'm still farming for the bloody pattern. <laughs> like I was about to say, I saw the recipe line and I'm like, oh, but no, it's not the right one. That's all right. What was I on for Mechanar? So on 41.38 and I'm now 75.86. It's not bad. These, I like, maybe this is how I should do it from, from now on. Maybe I should just work through every dungeon as a lack and, and try to get them all above. That's it. Uh, I think what I'll, what I'll continue to do is take inspiration from whatever my lowest percentage one is at that bottom corner and, um, take inspiration from that and build a series of lacks around it. Stuff that's nearby or, or whatever. I think it will, uh... This is working well. I'm enjoying this. It certainly helps motivate me to run shit. Good. Alright. Sounds like a plan. It does mean I probably won't raid, uh, won't do raids for lacks for a little while. Um, but maybe that's something that I can do. Um. In my own time. What's that? What's that? Run Lax to farm Transmog? Okay, good. Yeah, multiple birds, right? Get gold and Transmog. And happy branches noises. Agree that decision. We are on a strict timetable. You will not interfere. Ah, I got Mana Wrath. Fantastic. One more item from Pathalion. We've got three minutes. I'm gonna do one more run. If I if it will let me in, I'm gonna do one more run. Plate item left in this place. Yeah, me too. I've also got two patterns. But, um, yeah. Two patterns, but only one item left. Is it actually, is it plate or is it? Yeah, it's a plate helm. Helm of the Righteous. God, back when we had dungeon sets, do you remember that? Like actual set bonuses from, from dungeons. Okay, I'll give you a pattern. No oh, there you go. Look at that. Elixir of the Searching Eye. Well done. Congrats. Jesus. <clears throat> I 
You can start with the raid, then like the dungeons. Like start stream with the eye, and then do these three, for example. Ah! Okay, okay, I see where you're going with that. Good work. You will seconds to Because you can do lax with raids as well, but they're just not as, like, I don't know. They don't seem to work quite as well. It will be interesting to see once we get through this stream, like, updating my, my paladin and seeing, like, what's the next lowest thing for next week. And maybe, maybe okay, what we'll do, maybe I'll upgrade, or maybe I'll update the data while we're here talking. Um, at the end of stream, and then we'll work together to see what we want to do next week. Because we do have ATT next week as well. Because right, you can't repeat, yeah. Well, I mean, technically you can. You can switch tunes. But, um, but also, you know, a dungeon run takes about three to five minutes. Sometimes, you know, seven to ten or whatever. But, um, a raid run takes a hell of a lot longer just because of the way that it's all laid out and spread out and all that kind of stuff. Everything works the chat as well. Yeah, look, you don't usually one shot everything. This is because it's very old content, uh, but it is it is kind of fun. Just push a button, collect loot. Push button, collect loot. Push button, collect loot. Push button, collect loot. It's nice. Really looking forward to all these yellow numbers on my spreadsheet going green. You'll have to open up the spreadsheet before I update it, you lot. <laughs> and just and watch it all as it flickers to green. It'd be a cool feeling. Going through switching, maybe skip long raids. Yeah. <sighs> or like once a month we do one where I just do raids or something. Three three lacks. One raid, three lacks, one raid. Oh, we'll see. We've got some time to figure it out. We'll just we'll do what we've got planned for today, and then at the end of stream, I'll update the data and, uh, and see what it where we're heading now. Um, so that's the three here done. Uh, we're going to be heading to Hellfire Peninsula. Um, we're going to be doing the three dungeons that are here. So let's start with Blood Furnace. And then we'll hook around to Shattered Halls and then Hellfire Ramparts. Because Ramps is a real quick one. We'll rip through that at the end. It'll be great. So what did I say? Uh, Blood Furnace. We'll do Blood Furnace next. I'm just going to finish this run first, though, of course. Shouldn't take me too long. Maybe I'll get my Helm of the Righteous. And both my patterns. Wouldn't that be magnificent? By the way, Illidan sounds like a plan. Second place, nice. Oh, you're Quillily. Okay, so if you want to, there's a part, there's an area in the um, in the add-on where you can change what name appears on here to a nickname. So you could put it as Chaos, if you like Lady Chaos, if you wanted it to show up so that people watching would know where you're ranking. If you want to, obviously, there's no no pressure. Um, but that's a thing that a lot of people tend to choose to do. So I thought I'd let you know in case you didn't know. Uh, hello, Blade. How are you going? Welcome back. So, I did a win. 8,381 gold. Chaos has come in at second with 7,685 gold. Krazzy has come in at third with 6,786 gold. Meaty in fourth with 2,765 gold. And Zam with 860, although Zam did hit a uh, dungeon lockout, so I think Zam was messing around with some other stuff um, while that was all going on, rather than continuing on with this. Oh, look at that. Well, that doesn't count. I, I still got it, but it doesn't count towards the, um, the leaderboard because the timer has finished. Oh, speaking of throne, I got I got three anonymous presents yesterday. I'm so thankful. The honest timetable. You will not interfere. I got the piece of plate. The last things I need are the patterns. Holy cow! Oh my god, that's awesome. 
Oh, I'm so th I'm so glad I did that last run. But yeah, three three pairs. I got three pairs of leggings. I'm really so Landar sent me a pair of leggings from Yes Style from Throne. And um, it's got like a po like the two mesh pockets on the sides, and they're in the shade grayish purple. And I had three other pairs on my wish list: one in gray, one in grayish blue, and one in black. Because I'm like, oh, and I actually this week I was kind of upset because I had the the purple ones that Landar got me, and I had a black pair that I got from uh, Aldi like many moons ago that had one pocket on the side. And I found it nearly impossible to go for jogs without having my phone in that pocket now. So all my other leggings that don't have pockets, I'm like. And then when I saw those gifts pop up, I was just like, oh my god! It means I don't have to like wash my leggings on not laundry day so that I can use them again so I can go for three jogs a week. So I'm just, I'm super, super, super excited for those to uh, like be ordered and shipped and arrive and stuff. I'm, oh, I'm so excited. So thank you very much to Anon uh, for those, those pairs of leggings. I very much appreciate it. I'm so excited. So excited. Cannot believe it. I saw Koalatron's post about Throne. I'm like, oh, I have to tell you. I have to tell you. Uh, all right, let's do a quick zoom zoom. Get rid of these. Can I use Katie again yet? Good fortune to our friends. Two hours. Nope. <laughs> Many deals That's right. I'm sure I can find a mailbox like somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. Alright, so we're going to Shattered Halls, wasn't it? Was it? Hellfire Citadel, Shattered Halls. No, we're going to Blood Furnace. Good, we're going to the Blood Furnace. I'm just an umpty. Usually it tells me where if like there's a find NPC object, it sends me to the nearest mailbox, but it didn't, which is sad. I'm sure we'll find something. <clears throat> Thanks, hope you're well. I'm doing very well, thank you very much. Didn't know that you're very welcome. To get the edge of cosmos. Oh crazy. Oh well, next time. Next time. Happy dance. What is the item list add-on you got? Which one, Chris? So this here, these ones are Ludopraiser Challenge. This is Ludopraiser and Ludopraiser Challenge. This is the, the challenge bit. This is the Ludopraiser bit. Um, and this is this is part of the challenge as well. So challenge means you can like link up to other players and um, like challenge each other to far like a farm off. Farm as much as you possibly can in terms of gold and and like greens that you can auction off and stuff in a limit in a time limit. Um, and then this one over here is all the things, which it says up the top there. Uh, this one says Ludopraiser up here and says Ludopraiser Challenge in the header there. Yeah, they're all labeled. Pockets, yas. First time doing lit up was quite fun. Good. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed it, Chaos. Good evening, Romantic. How are you going? Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, maybe if I go over to this one over here, it'll be a, it'll be a mailbox. It should be. Oh, look, it's a Fell Reaver. Correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven.
Alright. Oh, uh, the evening for Talents Galore. Ah, oh, amazing! I hope you're doing fantastic today. I am. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, okay, so Mechana, we went from 41.38 up to 89.65, which is amazing. So now we're going to do Blood Furnace. Blood Furnace is already at 73.33. This was the highest one already that I had. But look, maybe we can maybe we can push it further. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Hard scroll, didn't see all the things. Just me being small fail today. Totally fine. Totally fine. Leroy, indeed, for Rufus Sounds. Oh my god, the nightmares. I know, right? I know. I know. Alright. Where are we? We've got one acceptance. Would anyone else like to join us for Blood Furnace? Oh, horde war mode on. Yes. I would very much like that. Um, you can only turn war mode on in Orgrimmar, yeah? It's in Gorgrond. Okay, I've got, everyone's got their, um, uh, what's it? You know what it's called. The thing that makes you go places. Hearthstone, garrison hearthstones. Hearth is closer. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, I'm already in the garrison, but I'll head to Org and then port back. Nice and easy. Okay. okay. Sorry, guys. I promise we'll do the lax in just a second, but, um... <laughs> uh, I'm on Southing. I'm on Southing. I love WoW music. It's just so good. Like, it's so good. <sighs> the crescendos and the, yep. Atmospheric. <laughs> they just finished. Isn't that fantastic? Awesome. I think it may have cancelled the loot appraiser challenge, though, is the only pro uh, only problem. So once I jump back on, be ready, because I'll, I'll send out the invites, I'll hit the ready check, and then we'll go. Stolen. Oh, bugger. Well, not necessarily stolen. Someone else found it. It's a thing. But yeah, it's, um, if it is someone, like, grabbing it from chat, might not be the best idea to give, like, all the information out in the raid chat so that people can find it more easily. Um, but that's okay. Uh, in raid chat, in, uh, in stream chat. Because there are, you know, 124 people here. So there's a pretty good chance that someone kind of, yep. <laughs> And who got it needed it all good with me, of course, of course. Two skins from the skin chest. Well done, Ali. Congratulations. Well done. Alrighty. And you it, of course, of course. Alright, did it cancel the lack? Let's find out. Yeah, catch one for you. Oh, that would be amazing. That would be just simply super, super amazing. Um I, um, there have been times where I'm like, yep, I'll sit here and I'll, um, I'll do the whole, uh, like, watching the Secret Finding Discord, watching for the pings and all that kind of stuff, but I just, every time I happen to have time to sit there and watch pings, there aren't any up because it's that 48-hour period after server restarts or whatever, um, or, it, it, yeah, it's just, the time is never right. The time is literally never right. It just doesn't, it doesn't work for me. Um sucks but look one day okay it did okay blood furnace recent invite there we go sorry guys ping 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 ping, ping. so many sellers for that sellers oof yeah okay yeah, that's interesting thing. Alright, the invitation has been sent. If you want to join us now is your time to jump in and accept the invite. 
Not a lot of time makes it so difficult. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. It's all right. I'll get, I'll get one one day. I'm sure I will. But yeah, it's uh. Alright, let's pop a ready check. If you haven't um, got, like, if you're not here ready to go, that's okay. All you'll need to do is find me in your, um, in your friends list. And you can, oh, I do have a friend request. There we go, I'll accept that one. You can find me in your, uh, in your friends list and you can uh, right click and like request, send request for invite and that'll automatically stick you into it. So if you've missed out on this as we're about to hit go now, just invite yourself, totally fine. Ready, set, go. Oh, nine instances recently. Maybe I should have given it more time to reset. Ha <laughs> ha, it's fine, I got seven minutes. Good crap, that's fine. Just have to take it slow, it'll be fine. What do you use to see how many runs? Uh, I use saved instances. But I'm, I think there are a few different add-ons out there that do it these days. Just depends on what exactly you're after. But yeah, I use saved instances. Drops is fine. No trash drops whatsoever is totally fine. <laughs> Saved instances are the best. It has covered my butt so many times, Shuri. Like I've oh, yep, I absolutely appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome on into chat. I hope you're having an awesome day. I oh, just suffer too much need it. Might be handy if we keep doing these. Oh, of course. For sure. It's a handy one to have. Oh, there we go. Something.
Of course it's Zam, the first one, to get the, the big valuable chunky one. Rogok, can I have your virtue bearers of embraces, please? No? Okay, fine. Away, you Nothing from this dungeon? Uh huh, uh huh. Okay. So you're gonna get like all the transmog and all the greens and just like screw us, I guess. This, dun this dungeon feels like it's taking slightly longer than the last one then, so hopefully... We'll see. No doubt we shall see. You Here mustn't let him loose! Too many overlapping sound, command uh, sound effects. Who dares interrupt? What is this? What have you done? You hey. everything! With the Eagle Crest War Boots. I'll take it. And I do love the, the slip and slide at the end here. <laughs> zoom zoom! Takes you straight out again. Interesting that I've got no quests and yet. So I'm gonna switch it to normal. Normal. In we go. Ten, but I've got thirty six seconds till another one opens up, so I think I'll be okay. Ping ping! One of those is 2k. Chaos got the same one. Nice. Look at all those little colored arrows, everyone's shuffling about. One thing from Brogok and two from Keladan. Then 
finishing a dungeon today would just feel so good. So good. Whoa, meaty! Ah, with the belt as well! <laughs> yes! Oh, dear. Belts for everyone! I got 252 boots. Gold. 252 gold. Uh, for my boots. Eighty-nine gold trousers. Uh, congratulations to Zem, Faden, Me Team, Silver, Tig, Dunno, Draz, Demon, and Ali on all your bonus shit. Well done. And Brogrop did not give me what I needed, but I did get two hundred and thirty-four gold gloves. Boss time! Loyalty boss chest! Make sure you place your units if you want some bonus stuff from the boss chest. Wretched, meddling insect. Place your units. Release me, and perhaps I will grant you a merciful death. Ah, Sam, well done. Is ink. Ignorant you mustn't fools. let him loose! He'll kill us all! Who dares interrupt? Good what is God. this? What have you done? You'll ruin everything! Ruby Helm of the Just is a new transmog piece for fear. I need two more items from this whole dungeon. For honor, for a paladin, that is. That's pretty exciting. We're at eight for five minutes. Yeah, I think I should be fine. Let's uh, drop down. Sam, stop it! Huh? Stop it. <laughs> Your EU gold making. It's kind of cool to see a bunch of people like outside these old instances, though, right? Am I? Am I right? <laughs> so, um, the region sale average for stuff in the EU is much higher than it is in the US. Um, like, stuff just sells for more over there. I, I don't know why, it's it's kind of interesting, uh, like, looking at the economy of it all. 
But um, yeah, EU stuff sells more. So Zam, stuff, something that would go. For oh, I got another blood scale belt. Brilliant. Um, so that belt that goes for 2k for us would likely go to like for if you actually Zam, if you hover over that blood scale belt, because for us it says like for me it says region average is 2007. What's the region sale average for yours? Do you know? Can you see it? Faster and luckier. Yeah, you you are a little more practiced at these as well. And you do seem to have some luck. Absolutely. But you do have the, the EU advantage as well. Which is totally fine. Like, I mean, it's just for funsies. But I am kind of, yeah. There's a, a lot of stuff will just go for more over there. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> when you get it. Rather than if, when. Uh huh. I know you got a blood scale helm and that's like half, but. Up. How are you going? Welcome back. Oh! Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Good fucking god. Jesus Christ. That is a world drop pattern. Congratulations. On your 27,000 gold pattern. <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's it. Game over. Um, <laughs> well, you got 27 minutes to get one of your own to drop. So there's that. Yeah, that's uh, oof. Yeah, I'd like that. Add to those collectibles. <laughs> yeah. Coass. Yep. That's it. It's coatic. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. I liked that a lot. You get a patent? You're okay, Zam. Enjoy. Have fun. Find it. It's trying to learn it. Yep, it's a follower emote. Which means that you don't need to sub to use it. You can just be following. And you can still have access to it, and but it can't be used anywhere else. Uh, I can bump it up to a subscriber emote instead, so that it can be used elsewhere. Well. But it means that followers won't have access. Although, like by ju judging by chat, um. <laughs> what is this? 
What have you done? Your 212 everything. gold gauntlets. All good. Yeah, I was trying to come up with a couple of things we could use as follower emotes because a lot of people have them, but it's like what what only really works here? Like what what is like an inside joke with us? Um, and which is why Coas is also a follower emote. You can't use that elsewhere because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's like it's one it's an inside joke sort of thing. Um uh, although spreadsheet love is I know it's a lot more widespread than just here, so maybe that would make sense to bump up to a um to a uh, subscriber emote um but it'd be interesting to see like what kind of what kind of emotes could we have here that are follower only that don't really make sense to use elsewhere i need a kilt to drop from brogok which makes the question why does brogok drop a kilt it's see this is the thing what i read what i feel like it's not that brogok has a kilt it's that we're butchering Brogok and using bits of Brogok to make a kilt. I feel like that's more like closer to what it is. It's been lifted, not dropped. Oh dear. Yeah, I mean, obviously there are some things that people are carrying. Like, you know, Illidan drops the skull of Gul'dan. Like, that makes sense because Illidan holds the skull of Gul'dan. But... There are other things where it's, you know, like such and such as fingernail, where it's quite clear that we have cut it free from the corpse and are now using it as a piece of gear. Gold shoulder pads. Pizza for dinner. What's everyone else doing? I have some leftover lunch from the week that I didn't eat, so I'm gonna have that because um, I don't like wasting food. Um, but it's my the nightshade free curry, um, which is delicious. Mini pizza for dinner. Uh, Quarter lunch you can give. Yum. Let's see. Three hundred and six gold. Anger rush vambraces. Eight of blessings. Uh, yeah, probably. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Awesome. How about bubble tea? Maybe. That requires bribe. How do I bribe you for bubble tea? I already Push. bought the stuff. Yeah. Oh, have you paid me back for your half of you? That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! That's great. Uh, what kind of bubble tea do you want? Good. So, so like original milk tea? Because we're due for milk one today. What else do we? Have? We've got original. We've got honeydew. Do we still have honeydew? We've got strawberry. Is there another one we've got? Uh, uh, thai. Do we have Thai? We haven't had Thai in ages, surely. Thai. No. Otherwise, yeah, probably an original maybe with a scoop of brown sugar or something. Thai. Oh. Ah, nah. But ooh. Hey, I got my van braces! All I need is the Doom Plate Gauntlets and I'm done with this dungeon on my Paladin. No, shut up. 
Don't. Nope. Um. Eh. Nah, don't bother putting it in a bowl. It's more dishes. Oh, you believe your pathetic right. sorcery can hold me? Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, maybe take it out of there. <laughs> Or you give me the whole thing and I can eat a cold and I can eat all the yogurt and stuff, sorry. Do I get to have the last two bread rolls? Hi. And you were gonna have the drumsticks and the wings. Okay, alright, I'll accept that. You have yourself a deal. Yeah, they got a BOE, like a world drop pattern. <laughs> the, person the, min on the minimum buyout on my server at the moment is 1.4 million gold for that pattern. It won't sell at that, but just to let you know. Um, had a plated mozzarella style stick. I had a plate of mozzarella sticks appear next to me, Jazz style. Aww. You mustn't let him loose! He'll kill it's us all! Hello. Time milk, yeah, time milk tea is delicious. It's so good. Kill him harder. Ah, ah. Um, Bubble Tea Club. Everything. It's their. It was their second anniversary. It's their second anniversary today of being yes, a company. Not you. I'm talking to chat. Oh, hi, chat. Um, <laughs> uh, hi, and they've chat. released. They released a couple new products to celebrate. Uh, we haven't ordered it yet, but they have um lemon. Green tea. It's green tea. They're not usually when I have lemon tea, it's black tea. So I'm curious to try their lemon green tea personally. Um, lemon green tea uh, that you can add instant pearls to. These are microwavable pearls instead of having to boil the boil them and, and like cook them on the stove and stuff. Um, they've got aloe vera jelly in an 850 gram tin, and they have uh, yogurt green tea. So yoga green tea is uh, Yakult style. So um, if you're not aware, Yakult is huge in Southeast Asia. Huge. Like so many people drink it every damn day. Like it's a whole big thing. And so Yakult bubbles, like Yakult tea is um, yogurt drink is a, is a thing. And so what you can also do is you can get the yogurt syrup and you can add it to any other fruit tea and make it a, like a, a fruit yogurt tea um so you, like you can do like a half half with the syrup be it like strawberry or lemon or, or grapefruit or grape or green apple whatever you're doing whatever you're going with um the yogurt syrup is a is a really great additive to pretty much anything else that you're having um so yeah that's fun so i'm uh thinking i might drop myself an order tomorrow because <laughs> you know Got to try the new stuff. Got to know. Got to know how to tell you guys what it tastes like and stuff, right? Um, can we now buy microwave pearls? They ha they brought microwave pearls out last year, and they sold out like instantly. They sold out instantaneously, uh, and I'm I think they took a, a really long time to restock them because they didn't realize how popular they'd be, and then they brought them back about a month or two ago. Maybe, maybe, maybe somewhere around a month ago they brought them back. Um, I'm not sure if they're sold out again or whatever, but they come in, like, they're, they're in, like, a sachet with brown sugar and all that kind of stuff, and yeah, you just, you stick them in the microwave. So the texture's gonna be a bit different. It's not the same texture, so if you're a person who's really, really, like, needs, needs the right kind of texture, keep in mind these do not have quite the same texture as fresh cooked pearls. Um... And they are in brown sugar, so if you have any kind of allergies or um, that kind of stuff, be sure to check the ingredients because they are different to, to your stock standard cook yourself pearls. Um, but yeah, they, they have those. I haven't tried them yet, so I'm thinking I might need to get the yogurt, like the, the lemon tea with the micro with the instant pearls because I need to try them. I need to try all the products. Um, Except wintermelon. I try. I had a wintermelon tea from a like an uh, like a, 
a stall, like a bubble tea cafe, um, a while back, and it was not pleasant. I did not enjoy the flavor at all. So I don't like. I don't think it's going to be one of those things where maybe it was just a bad one and Bubble Tea Club will do it better. I just. I don't think I like the flavor, which is totally okay. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk my money on on something that I don't think I'm gonna like. Um, whereas I've never had a yogurt tea before, so I'm keen to see what that's like. And I love my lemon tea. Good God, love my lemon bubble tea. It's so refreshing. So I'm really keen to see how they've done it. Um, and then, yeah. And I imagine that the lemon syrup, oh God, the lemon syrup would be so good for making like lemon meringue pie and shit like that. Holy cow. It'd be like the lemon juice and the, the sweetener like in, in one syrup. So that'd be amazing. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm keen to try those. And yeah, I'm keen to try the Instagram. I've had, um, we've bought bubble tea kits from, like, Woolies and stuff when they've had them, um, to see what they're like. Uh, and the instant pearls that they had were not great. They were not good at all. I, I did not enjoy them. I've also had, like, you can get bubble tea in a can. Um, and so it has the bubble tea in, like, it, the pearls in the bottom of the can, and you just, you gotta shake the whole thing up and then, and then eat it, and it was tasty, but the pearls were just wrong. They just weren't, they weren't good. Um, so, I'm, uh, I'm keen to see how Bubble Tea Club do instant pearls. They might not be for me, but they might be for other people, so, look, we'll see how we go. So, yeah, I think I'll pop in my order tomorrow and, uh, see what they've got for us. Sophia, ah, that's super cute. All right, we'll pop that in. That's adorable. Ah, oh, Kaz, that's awesome. Take my blood and choke on it. Oh look, I got the van braces again. Can I get the Doom's Plate Gauntlets? Actually, is there is there a mod around who can set up a prediction? Will Fia get her last item in the next 13 minutes? Before the time is up. Hey Chrissy, how you doing? Let Welcome me confer back. with my source. <laughs> no. Sam, that's not very nice. That's not very nice. Excuse me. I could very easily jump to that one. You've done it before. How are you? Doing very well, Chrissy. Doing very, very well. Thank you. Talking about Bubble Tea Club's new releases. Very exciting. It's funny. It was funny. It was very funny. Sure. Kills, yeah. Look, when when you're doing 15 year old year old content, it's uh. It's, you uh, mustn't uh, let him lose. He'll kill us all. Who dares? What is this? What have you done? You'll ruin everything. Uh, excellent, Zem. If cruel, uh huh. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, falling down those, uh, falling down that list. Second. Had a new voice line. Oh no, Ral. Oh no. Oh, I need to empty my bags. I have many lucky dudes you like. Well, friend of the Grummels. Good fortune to our friends. I did a really inter I actually, I did a tarot card spread yesterday. My first one ever. Um, with my own deck. The spread, it was a career spread. Um, ask the cards, because the idea with the tarot spread, right, 
is that you ask a question and then you choose a spread um, that's kind of designed to answer that sort of question. Um, and so I asked, the question I asked was, uh, the, the spread I did was like, it was a career spread and it was like, how, where do you want to be and how do you get there? This spread will help you identify like roadblocks or things that you need to focus on or pay attention to and blah, 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 blah. Um, so I did that one. And then my question was, you know, how do I get from where I am to full-time streaming? How do I get to a point where I can move to Melbourne and not have to worry about finding a job when I get there? Like have a job already and it'd be streaming. Um, and then I drew my cards. And there were a couple that were really confusing. Like I was like, what, what does this card mean? Here? What is this doing here? But um, the, the, the first card I drew for the spread, the, the position, so each, when, when you do a, a spread, each position in the spread answers a specific aspect of your question. So for example, this one had five cards in it and the one at the very top was, where are you looking to go? Like wh what, what does it look like? What are your responsibilities going to be like? What, it, what is it? Where are you wanting to go? Where, where is it? And the card is supposed to answer that in a way. Obviously, it's definitely open to interpretation, and the point of tarot is, for me at least, it's to, like, it's self-reflection. It's what do I, when I see this and when I read this description, what is the first thing that springs to mind, and why is my mind going there? What does it mean that that's what I'm thinking about? The first card I drew that said, uh, the, 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 question, the, the card was, you know, where are you going? And the card was it basically meant you're on the last stretch you've been working hard you're almost at the point of burnout but it'll all be worth it soon and i was like okay <laughs> okay Stay away from me, interrupt me. okay <clears throat> And the last card I drew was, it was, you know, what needs attention? What's, what's a problem? What's a big thing that you really need to focus your energy on? What, what do, what is, what really needs your attention in order to get where you want to go? And it drew, I, the card I, I drew, uh, one of the keywords was communication. And it was like, there's been a breakdown of communication. There's, you know, you need to make sure that you're focusing on, on, you know, connecting here and, and all this kind of breakdown. And I'm like, where could I, where could I have broke down, broken down communication? Like, what, ha, like, communication is one of my things. It's one of my pillars. Like, how, how could this have broken down? And then I kind of went, oh, hang on a second. There was a, a, uh, last year, there was a really big opportunity that presented itself to me. And I was like, yes, let's do this. I engaged a lawyer to look at a contract. I, I did all, like, this was a, a big fucking deal like a big deal it could have changed everything and they went radio silent um i i was reaching i've, I've been reaching out to them regularly every couple of weeks being like hey what's going on is everything okay i hope no one's been hit by a truck like what's happening what's going on 10 minutes after i drew this card they emailed me back I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. 10 minutes after I drew this card, it's telling me that I needed to pay attention to communication. And I get an email from people I've been chasing for two months. Like, how trippy, like whether or not you believe in, in, spiritual uh, spiritual stuff or divination or whatever it wants to be called like whatever like regardless of whether or not you believe in that kind of stuff and i, I as i said i'm very much like uh, tarot cards and horoscopes and all that kind of stuff are very much tools for self-reflection like you look at what's been drawn you recognize where your mind goes and then you go okay why is my mind applying this to that like what what does that mean to me why is this why is my brain going like this is that telling me something? Is this helping my brain communicate with me in a way that it couldn't before or whatever, right? So that's how I use it. But that's just trippy. <laughs> that's just ridiculous. Um, so look, that's interesting. Has anyone here ever used tarot cards before? 
Is it something, you know, you, you've been interested in or you've done regularly or... Like, I'm curious, because this is this is my first deck. My mum sent it to me um, because she noticed I had one on my wish list. So she found one and she sent it to me. It's beautiful. And um, I want to get in the habit of, of like, you know, just to just, just kind of keep a connection with myself and keep checking in with where I'm at with everything that's going on. Like, I know I'm stressed, but maybe I can use the cards to dig into what exactly I'm stressed about and how can I, like... You know, work through that and stuff, you know, just for funsies, but also you you know, mustn't help let myself him out of it. Kill us all. Um so sure as this was the cross pattern. No, it was um uh shooting forward was the name of the spread. What is this? And it was I'm done! <laughs> that's awesome. I'm done. I was not expecting that. That's that's brilliant! Oh my god, that's amazing. Sorry. It's called shooting forward. So you deal a card in the middle at the top, middle, 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 bottom, and then you go left. So that'd be like, you know, one, two, three, and then to the left and to the right. So it kind of creates a, a T sort of shape um, with a, a line across the bottom. Uh, I use an app on my phone uh, called Labyrinthos um, and they've got a whole bunch of spreads in there and they can walk you through doing a spread digitally, like using cards in the app and it, it does it for you. Or it can walk you through, like it gives you 30 seconds to shuffle and then it says draw a card and place it here and then place here and then place here. And then so you tap where you're placing it and you select what card you drew so that you can like save it and give you like write notes about what you what you thought and all this kind of stuff. Like it's uh, like what question you asked and what thoughts you had. And so, yeah, it's, a, it's almost like a digital uh, tarot journal, I guess. Um, but it kind of helps you learn how to do the different spreads for yourself and stuff, too, which is nice. Um, and they've got a whole learning thing so that you can learn to read more intuitively rather than having to actually read up on each card as you draw it. Uh, my youth and I was still trying to figure out myself. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, kind of like using a coin toss to decide things based on how you feel with the outcome. Exactly. Exactly right. Yeah. You just, you use it as a, as a tool to see how you're feeling and where your mind goes and yeah. Like, like if you if you draw a card that says someone in your life is untrustworthy and your mind immediately goes to this person, it's like, well, why am I feeling that way? Have they done anything to make me feel like they can't be trusted? Is this someone that's worth keeping in my life based on how I obviously feel about them? Like, it's, it's you know, it's all that kind of, yeah. It's the, it's the looking internally. Um... I even still have the deck somewhere. Oh, nice. Be done. Oh, not a pattern, but I'm okay with it. Uh, I've never tried tarot cards before. There you go. I have a deck I can read for others. Don't particularly use myself. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what the heck sound was that? That was, you have finished an entire category. That's what that sound was. I got my last, I got my last gauntlets from the last boss. I've finished this dungeon on a paladin. I never have to do it again. It's complete. Well, I have to do it again. Um, but on other tunes, not on the Paladins. You're winning! I am winning! I did a win! I'm I'm not winning on the leaderboard, but it doesn't matter because I finished the dungeon and that makes me really happy. That makes me really happy. Na 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 How are you going? Uh, Tig, Fade, Zam, Sect, Dunno, Spam, Draz, and Doop. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Boss defeated! Yes. Uh, ooh. Oh, it's one of those separate ones. Okay, we're going to go for the skin chest because I really want that last skin.
Place <clears throat> your unit. Plural. Place plural units. Just one at a time. Tasty. Not even decent time zone. We've got one. We've got a few actually. Australia is so big it covers several time zones. It's uh, area wise, like square meterage, we're about the same size as the US. So we have plenty of time zones. The time is up, so. Oh my god, you got another pattern? Oh, piss off. Good lord. Good lord. God, today was a high. Look at this one! High scoring affair. My lord. Boom, not too shabby for someone. 15 minutes behind y'all. No, not at all. God damn. Two patterns. Far out. So. Uh, Ali has uh, topped us off at 50,995 with two world drop Burning Crusade patterns. Two. Uh, Zam is in second with 38,074. Very, uh, very admirable effort. Uh, Chaos in third with 23,485. Uh, Fiyama, me, in fourth, with 15,228, but I finished the dungeon in terms of, uh, completionist stuff, so I'm fine with that. Uh, Meaty in fifth with 13,518, and Krazzy in sixth, but who had to go AFK for most of this run, for 7,507. Still pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. So, um... We are heading baby to da 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 da, baby to na 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 da da. Shattered halls next. Uh, I'm just gonna finish up this run, empty my bags, and we're gonna go to shattered halls as our next one. If you would like to join us, you mustn't Ooh. let him lose. He'll kill us all. It is you? I'm like, I swear I can hear Jazz, but I can't hear him over all of the in-game sound effects. Kick its ass. Harder. I'm dead. I also look 100% Thank you for food. Thank you for hot food. Here's some drink. Not Yay! as hot. Not as hot. <laughs> um, are you okay? I turned them on though. Yeah, no, they're working. Make sure you've got them turned on because mine are, mine are definitely functioning. <clears throat> Anyway, what were you saying? Um, are you okay with me ordering those new flavors? Sure. Just to try, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're active as overlay one. Um, the website, so, when I turn my captions on, I have to keep a website open and it listens to my microphone and transcribes as I go so I can see if it's working or not. And it's definitely transcribing. So just double check that you have them turned on. Uh, I don't think it works on mobile. I think it only works on desktop. Um, but yeah, they're, they're definitely functioning. Uh, according to my end. Right, very hot. I have <clears throat> Make sure you anywhere. empty your bags. Make sure 
You empty your bags. Got lots of things in here that I can uh, actually. Many farewells. <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the Grummels, <laughs> like you. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff still in my bags. Where's our closest, uh, is it up top for the mailbox? Wait, hang on, can I use Katie yet? hour still. Uh, Alright, I'm going to need to empty out my stuff. Because I've still got quite a full bag after that. Um, CC works on my app. There you go. Okay. Uh, I was like, credit cards, crowd control, common copy, closed captions. You did say they're working on your end. Yes, on browser, even refresh, nothing. This is on my phone. Keeps PC work. Mm, okay, so not just refreshing, but like, if you actually, if you hover over the channel like hover over the video and make sure like click the cc button like the the one that says stream cc and check that it's switched on because it might have switched off by default somewhere along the way like maybe you had a browser update and it turned it off or something but yeah it's definitely working on my end two three four five six seven eight ten I know I could do them in 12s, but I was counting to 10 and it was fun. Um, what did I say we were doing? Shattered Halls. <laughs> I'm very good at this. Uh, shattered Halls. I'm so happy that I'm finished the Blood Furnace on one tune. That's super cool. It also means I probably will have finished it on some of the other plate wearers as well, which is very cool. So I'm at 47.82% for this one so far. So let's see how we do we. I'm going to switch it to heroic. I'm going to kick off the challenge. <laughs> Probably a good thing for me to do. Shattered. God, if I could spell correctly, it would be very helpful. Shattered halls. Accept. Cancel. We send invite. Ah. Are we all Chrome users? I have a different difference. There you go. Not working for you either. That's really odd. Hmm. I've got to wash your PC now too. I'm kidding. There's nothing wrong with it. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's really odd. Um, but yeah, it's definitely it's definitely working, and we do have people who have said that it's working for them as well. Um, yeah, that's super strange. Hmm. Just noticed it. Yeah. Super, super odd. Uh, all right. Ready, check. <clears throat> I'm not responding to that. I'm gonna go in. Three, two. Oh god, I got 12 minutes before my- oh. Let's go! 
<clears throat> Good start. Caught on wall. <clears throat> you can go back over here, please. Remember, if you miss the invite, you can absolutely add yourself to the list as Prazzy just has. Find me on your friends list. Don't have any more invites. Find me on your friends list, right click me and send a request for invite all the way down the bottom under Ludopraiser Challenge. <clears throat> These aren't dying instantly. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. These ones aren't getting one shot. I'm shocked and appalled. Oh, was this not a leveling dungeon maybe? It's also on heroic, so that's a thing. Put back here. Oh, excuse me. Change server on my way, totally fine. You're gonna win anyway, so it's okay. Doesn't matter if you're running a little late. Yeah, there are some channels that have automatic closed captioning from Twitch, like without an overlay or anything, without an extension. And I would really, really like that. I might reach out. Um, in the, I might reach out to the partner people and see if there's something I'm missing, something I need to do to be able to get CC. <clears throat> uh, I'm still looking at bags. Totally okay. It's just the cream not seeing them either. I don't usually have them on, so it's not affecting me. Yeah. But yeah, I do. I do have them active there. They're definitely. Look, let me. Let's try logging out and logging back in with them. Make captions do the thing. There you go. So it's working. I've logged out logged in again. Hopefully that will help. Yeah, it did? Cool. So it was it was somewhere between the um somewhere between the service and Twitch. Brilliant. A captain! <laughs> captain, my captain. That's great. Oh dear. What to fight us all at once, Shane? This should be amusing. Both of them were things that I needed. That's brilliant. I'm not gonna get that pattern for million years though. I'm a captain. That me! I'm a captain. You should place your units in my battle, as I am a captain. I forgot about those bastards. Invaders have breached the defenses! Oh, this is a gauntlet with no... No loot. Archers, form ranks! On my mark! Ready! Aim! Fire! This is when we have to run all the way out of as well, so it should take us a little longer. Which means we shouldn't get locked out. Fade? Oh, piss off. Really? It's not annoying at all. It's 
a yeah, captain. Yes! You should place your units on her battlefield. I have a couple of, because I've got a couple of skins that I can unlock and I need to actually get on to sending them artwork and stuff, but I have a couple of ideas and um, I think they're going to be kind of fun. <clears throat> Are from different so Jazz and I played some CK3 last night and it was pretty hilarious. Um, but did you have you have you got the itch for it again, Jazz? Because um because we were playing. Can I please have your boots of the righteous path? Thank you. Resolve your fault. I hate you. Can you imagine your life sucking so bad that your last words, your final words, are words of hate? Like that would just suck. Play other stuff in the moment. I really like to do some keys. Last one, I had a healer. Couldn't heal. Oof, rough. You was a healer. Yeah. Hey, Greaves of the Shatterer. New appearance. <clears throat> Not too shabby. change you want to see in the world. I can heal myself, not the group. People keep on telling me that doesn't count. It doesn't. Yeah, you can't be a healer on a DK, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, the captions are, the, are their own source of entertainment. I'm not a parody. Loud. Um, mm. The captions in and of themselves are a source of entertainment. Like, I'm not a paladin, nah. Except currently I am, so that's kind of funny. On my defensive upload, I still got dropped like nothing, oof. Yeah, that's that's not fun. That doesn't sound like a good time. I'm sorry you have to go through that, Jess, that sucks. Rage was not happy. Yeah. Learn to soothe, please. Yeah. Yep. Look, unless you pay somebody to, like, write captions for you, it's, um, yeah. Captioning is a, a whole pain in the ass situation. Like, get, automatic captions are useful to an extent. Um, but even, like, even on my reels and stuff like that, I have to go through and edit words because they're not real words, because they're from WoW or whatever. Um, but, yeah, it, it can be really, it, it can be really tricky. Um, yeah. And then having a recorded, like, a pre-recorded video and getting someone to do captions, like, you got to send them the file and then they have to sit there and write out type out every last word that you say through the whole video into a caption file. Like it, it's 
it's paid work and if you're putting out a lot of content or whatever it can be although a university should have that that's no excuse like they're getting enough money that they should be able to pay for captioning services um they should have in-house captioning services uh but especially now that everything's online and they've had you know two years to sort that stuff out um but yeah it's it's uh for someone on my level, super, super difficult. But for like professional companies and stuff, no, it's it's absolutely something they should be investing in. Accessibility is something that so many people have overlooked, right down to like the design of your website. Um, we were, uh, Jess and I were looking for information while we were having dumplings yesterday. And I came across a website that had a dark teal background with a medium green font. I have pretty decent eyesight. I couldn't read that. It was a normal, like a regular, you know, like Times New Roman 12 point font or whatever it was. But it was like a dark teal background with a medium green font. And I, I just couldn't. I just could not. Uh, oh, that was a heroic, wasn't it? I need to change to normal. But yeah, I did. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's gonna give them tricks for easy and use them, damn it. Ah, uh, it's an accessibility thing that you should be doing it, correct. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, uh, but it's just there, there. Quality of what they've done is shocking. It'll it'll be automatic and no one's proofread it. That's all it is. They'll they'll put it through some online free thing and it'll automatically caption it and they won't bother pro uh, proofreading it. It's it's all in the proofreading. Like automatic captioning is fantastic and it happens really, really quickly. But it happens so quickly that you should invest the time to double check it. Even on my bloody Instagram reels, I double check the captions. Like, it's not hard to do. It just takes time. But if you don't have time to proofread captions, then you shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't be providing services to the general public because accessibility is, it's real. Um, so it's horrifying. So if our Nubian archers are a wee bit bonkers. Oh no. Oh no. Look, I imagine that this, um, I, I imagine that what happened with this website we found was that they have a desktop one that looks beautiful, but they've just kind of left it to the, 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 um, like default mobile view settings and haven't gone to check. And the mobile view settings have pulled a text color from somewhere where it shouldn't have been pulled from and then all they need to do is go into their mobile optimization and set it to white set it to 6f and you'll be got that's it you know but they just haven't done that and it's yeah yeah um colorblind and that scares me i i couldn't read it you would have had no hope what, like i i had barely any hope i think i made out one letter you would have just been looking at a blank page with the occasional ad as you scrolled by, <laughs> like. <laughs> it's all in the pudding. Oh dear. Yeah, look, it's um. Accessibility used to be like in the, in the last, you know, however long. Accessibility would be like, oh look, they've got an accessible thing. That's so cool. Like that, that's really good of them. But that's not. That's not what. It, that's not how we do it anymore. It's not like, oh, cool. There are there are options for me as a person who has access requirements. That's not. It's, it's you don't feel grateful for the two places in the entire city that you can dine at because they have accessibility options. That's not okay anymore. It's like this. This is requirements now. You've had decades to figure the shit out. Like just. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, it's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. Oh my goodness, Sam, look at you go. Look at you go with your recipe. Invaders have breached the defenses! Archers, form ranks! On my mark! Ready! Zippy never sells. Fire! I 
mean, I'll take it. My my alchemist doesn't have it, so <laughs> I know you're in the wrong place. Incorrect region for being able to trade. back as a killer. Yeah, it is. It is, but look, we gotta get the transmog, so we gotta do it. We might as well do it on a timer. Might as well set a timer and just kinda do it till it's done. At least the last one we're gonna do ramparts. We're gonna hit 10 before, like, we're, we're not gonna be able to do a 45 minute timer. It won't, it, like, we won't have time. We'll just, we'll, we'll hit lock out 10 instances as well before that. Oh, we'll give it a go. Give it a go, and maybe we'll spend the last 15 minutes or so of stream figuring out what we want to do next week. We and lock it in, you guys can prepare yourselves. your boots of the righteous path, please. Resolve me when you fall. I hate you. Of course not. Thou shalt not stun me! <clears throat> no light swan hammer. Oh, no executioner either. Did I take too long, or are they not always there? Oh no, that's heroic only, isn't it? Never mind. Actually, a time walking piece from here that is different from everything else. Oh no! It's gone. But I ha—I don't. Hang on, I don't have that one. But it's not on the list. Oh, it's because it's from Ramparts. Why? So it drops from Shattered Halls for time walking. And ramparts for okay, okay, <laughs> sure, I'll take it. Can't do time walking anyway, so it's fine. We are doing time walking next week, though. Friday night, we'll do a, a round of Legion time walking. Go through and do one two one uh, one dungeon on each two and get all them badges. Super keen. This reminds me of that Ramparts meme with the G kick. I don't remember that one. I'm like, why is Ramparts funny? Like, <laughs> what am I missing here?
Because Ram parts are responsible for parts of Ram who were G kicked. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> Silly. I'm running back. Yeah, me too. Second run back. I'll probably be able to fit two more runs in because we're about halfway through the timer and I've just zoned out. Uh, Draz, Meaty, Cold. Cold? Cold. Dupe, Alley. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus cheat. Well done. Uh, this one. The only one we can do. <clears throat> mm. Barbarian. Onwards. All the rep that I'm getting as well is hilarious. I don't think I'm gonna get that pattern, but it'd be nice. It'd be real nice. Throwing it over the Big chat, I think that will. Seeing as we're running Shattered life. Halls, I think that's a good call. I think that's a good call. Oh. Yes, beat him mercilessly. Oh. His skull oh. is as thick as an ogre. Some of the stealthy mobs. 
really hard because the whole corridor I have to kind of creep slowly down, smacking things as I see them. So they don't stun me for eight seconds. Splat. Six time here, oh no! That's alright, I am. Um, yeah, the, you're talking about the one in the whole dress? No. It's not the whole dress. Yeah, it's after the whole and you've got to go back a room. And it's like sitting there next to one of the. Guys. Like, it's not just sitting there out here and during the fight. You actually have to kill. You can go back there straight after the whole You don't have to kill any further bosses. I don't think, or maybe in other file, they've changed it. So that people don't kill the Wondrous, get the kind of thing and then piss off. Um, but yeah. It's like back in the middle room of Wondrous is fight. And the reason I grabbed it the first time was because I knew it was there because of a collector and I was like, yes, I need to know where this one is. And yeah. At least it's an easy one to grab, as long as you, like, once you've done the fight. Once the boss is dead, you can just go grab it, which is really nice. There are no fancy stuff you have to do. You don't have to like kill it in a certain way or anything, which is the really good bit. Because, oh god, that'd be a pain in the ass. There we go. Uh, was there stealthy mobs back around here in the back of the day? Yes. Yeah, but you had a group of five people, so if one person got incapacitated, it didn't really matter. Because the other four would take care of it. And usually you just went through, like, the tank and go first, because they'd have some way of breaking it. So you just had to actually let the tank go ahead of you. Brutes of the Righteous Path, please and thank you. Hey! Amazing! Amazing, yeah, Area 2 of Londres. Yeah, that one. That one, indeed. Blade fist now. Ooh, I need the light sworn hammer. And the pattern, but. You know. I don't think I'm gonna get the pattern, but yeah, the uh, the light sworn hammer would be nice. And plus, I'd prefer to get the pattern on my main tailor anyway. Rather than on one of my hundreds of volts. Where are we? Shattered Halls. I was at 47.83. And now I'm at 82.60. This has felt really good for probably- Look at how green those are! They were all so yellow and now it's like actually looking pretty green. It's a nice feeling. I really 
really wonder where it's going to send me next once I update all these. I know I have plenty at 34. It's 34.62 is what the Architraz was at. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 34.69 will be the next lowest. And it's Leather Trail of Valor. So it looks like that's something I'm probably going to have to do, like, try to do off stream. Unless I literally spend. <laughs> and it's, it's a Legion raid as well, which means it's going to be tricky to do on anything that isn't 60. Luckily, I do have my Druid, my Rogue my monk and now my alliance demon hunter as well who can all do it because they're all at 60 um and they're all leather wearers <laughs> but oh oh that's gonna suck just a touch uh are you doing att for all classes uh yes and no um i am doing 12 classes i've got 50 characters evenly split across all 12 classes with an extra mage and an extra druid so I'm pretty balanced in terms of like actually being able to farm stuff and I am so it's all 12 classes yes but not all the things uh, I'm doing what I call AT dart which is all the dungeon and raid things so I've got a spreadsheet if you type exclamation AT dart AT D A R T into chat it'll give you a link to my google sheet because of course um and that's my 12 classes i'm doing all the dungeons and raids up to and including legion because that's what i can uh, roughly solo uh, i can't really solo bfa on much yet and i can't solo shadowlands on anything um so i wanted to focus on stuff that i could do by myself so i didn't have to rely on other players or have other people potentially steal my stuff like or not steal but win things i need and get salty um but yeah that's kind of so that's what i'm that's what i'm aiming for i st like for me that's still a pretty i've only started doing transmog collecting like in the last it's not really six months it feel it maybe it's six months ish it, i've not been doing it for very long at all I, I never used to care at all about transmog um and then i made the mistake of installing att <laughs> as I'm sure most of us know the feeling. Um, but I'm I'm very much like, I'm a mount collector, uh, primarily. That was like my big thing that I was focusing on. But I like, I like the happy brain juice noises and I like finishing off, like I like collecting things. So, I mean, it makes sense. But yeah, so yes, 12, 12 classes, but not all things. I hope that makes sense. And I also hope you're having a fantastic day, Harp. Welcome on in. I noticed you're a new chatter here, so I hope you're having a great day. I mean, I hope everyone's having a great day, not just the new chatters, but like, welcome, you know? Yeah, mm, good. <laughs> uh, I'm very good at this. Professional streamer person. Evening all. Oh, hello, Seeker. How are you? We're not making the stream goal. Indeed. We got there. We got there. Great success. I hope you're having a great night. ATT is never a mistake. Look! Look, sometimes it can be. When you've got other stuff you really should be focusing on, it can be. I'm just farming ATT for leather, thought of everything. Raised Dungeons is brutal. Yeah, it's, um... Yeah. Um, it's, like, it's the little victories, though. Like, today I finished off a dungeon on my paladin. Um, we're doing loot appraiser challenges at, at the same time, so it's like, it's got a little bit of a fun community challenge element to it, as well as tracking all the things, of course. Um, and it's also like, instead of being like, oh my god, I'm so far off getting everything done, it's more about, hey, two weeks ago, my lowest percentage dungeon or raid was at the 33 point something. Now it's 34 point something. I've, I've moved up the list so far that my lowest... None of none of the dungeons or raids across the entire 12 classes are anything lower than 34.62%. When I started, that number was like 24. I've gotten 10% up. Like that's that's awesome. That's huge. 
And the uh, on my spreadsheet, all the way at the top corner, it's got the total across everything, all the dungeons and raids, and all the classes, and that's at sixty five point nine five across everything currently. Um, but when when we started, again, that was a fair bit lower. Um, so it's it's kind of just the little victories. The going up by one percent is a huge achievement, and it's just it's really nice. Um, I know I'm miles away from getting everything to 100, and that's okay. Uh, but my mage, if you, hang on, let me open up, let me open up Classic for you on the spreadsheet. Um, if you have a look at Fiamma, who is my main, I main a mage, she has cleared Molten Core, Anixia's Lair, Blackwing Lair, and Ruins of Encourage. Done. 100% complete. Everything, including BOE bullshit. Trash drops. And I'm working on Temple of Ankaraj, and she's at 95.24%. And I know that's wrong because I've had another drop and I just haven't updated the numbers yet. So like, that's, that's huge. It's, yeah, it's the little victories. And Classic is a pain in the ass as well. Like Classic is so hard because everything's class sets and everything's like bop trash drops that, you know, oh. That have like a 0.01% chance of dropping all this kind of stuff. It's ridiculous, but um it's it's a it's a challenge. It's a challenge. Mm. Mm. Uh, I see he's struggling through Mega Hangover Husband's 40th last night was so much was consumed. Ah, oh, nice. Well congratulations to the husband. On reaching 40, that's a big achievement. Survived 40 years of this ball. Like, come on. That's 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 definitely something to celebrate. Otherwise, well, I think you nothing but self-inflicted silliness. Love it. Look, sometimes, sometimes it just it happens. It happens. Who's next year for me? Also is doing well. It's negative today, Carissa lost my money. Yay! Amazing! Refuse to go, might not drink again till then! Uh huh. Uh huh, sure. The COVID leaving the building, indeed. Indeed. Ah, uh, good morning, Mikey. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Fantastic. I hope you're okay with the occasional swears. Just as a ye. I'm gonna give to be 40 again. Oh, 40 sounds really scary, honestly. I'm uh I I turned 32 in February and so 40 sounds terrifying. Mostly because like 30 to me was scary because I hadn't achieved I felt like I hadn't achieved anything I was supposed to achieve. I, I was renting. I didn't have uh, like a fiance or a husband. I didn't have kids. I didn't have uh, like a career. I did like none of that kind of nothing had really fallen into place like that for me. Um, so it felt like I was failing at life, if that makes sense. Uh, whether or not it's true, that's that's how it felt. Um, so I am definitely not ready for 40 because I feel like I need to have, but then, you know, like I've, the last couple of years, I've seen so much success in just different areas of my life and some people wouldn't call it success and that's okay, but I call it success, but it's not those stereotypical, stereotypical things, you know? I got it. I got it. Yay! I'm not gonna get that pattern. I I can't even do another run. It's gonna take me six minutes to run back. Uh, <laughs> yes. So yeah, the idea of the idea of forty is terrifying. Um, maybe it'll feel a little bit better once I've you know ticked a few things off my list. But right now, no thanks. That can stay over there. <laughs> <clears throat> Grats, Ali, well done. Well done. 
It wins. Yes, if Rush, we never had our one and only till 35. That's good to hear. Uh, people are definitely having kids later. Like, like, they absolutely are. I am a little bit scared. Um, I have an autoimmune condition, which most of you know. Um, but I don't know how that's going to affect. I know that the meds I'm on, I can't do baby. I, I have to be off my meds to be able to do baby because it will make baby not live. Um, so that's, that's a big thing. Um, and so coming off my meds means that as well as all the symptoms that come along with potential pregnancy, I'd have to deal with the symptoms of my autoimmune condition as well on top of that. Um, so it's, it's a frightening prospect, honestly, it's, it's quite scary. So if like, if I do get to the point where it's like, okay, cool, ready to do this, let's go. It will absolutely be a conversation that I will have with my specialist at the time, whoever that happens to be. Like, I'm not an idiot. I, I take my health and, and all that very seriously, very seriously. So, um, that'll be something I'd be sitting down with them and saying, what are my options? What can we do? Is there anything, are there any other medications that I could possibly take that would be safe? Um, what can I expect between, you know, are there any interesting things that'll pop up as a result of both of these conditions, the autoimmune and pregnancy happening at the same time in the same body, like all that kind of fun stuff. Um, plus there are some other like incredibly personal things that I'm not going to talk about. Um, but they would also potentially complicate things. Uh, so it's all just sort of frightening, literally, uh, but that's okay. You got another pattern? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you, no, you're not invited anymore. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm very much kidding. I'm just also pissed. No. <laughs> oh, well done. Congratulations. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I also don't, oh god, there's some things I'd want to sort out in my life before I get to that point. I am, my life is very self-absorbed, very self-absorbed. Everything I do is, is like, uh, like, it's me, it's stream, it's work, it's blah blah blah, like, how the hell do you fit a baby in there? You just, you don't, you don't. So, yeah, there's, um... There's a whole lot of things that need to be handled before that happens. But I have time, like you said. I have time. Um, as long as nothing else goes wrong with my body, I should have time. Mmm. <laughs> ah, oh, dearie me. Mm, 35 now, I think I probably have bad ideas along the I should have done XYZ now when I turn 32. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it definitely, it definitely feels like that sometimes. And then other times I'm like, yeah, but I don't, like, if I had that, if I, like, so at my age, at 32, I'm trying to think of the, so the year I was diagnosed with my autoimmune, when I was 26, at the same point in life, at 26, my mum had me. And then two and a half late years later, she had my brother. So at my age now, my mum had a six-year-old and a four-year-old, a six-year-old and a three-year-old turning four this year. No, <laughs> I don't, I don't want that. Like, oh God, oh God. And like, you know, looking back at who I was with, at that point, if I had had children with that person. Um, being blunt, I probably wouldn't be here. Being really super blunt with that. So like, my life has happened the way it was supposed to. I, I know that, like I, I wasn't meant to have kids at that point. I wasn't meant to get married to that person. I wasn't meant to like, it just, no, no. Um, so I'm, I'm thankful for what I have, but I am scared that maybe I'll miss out on things that I wanted to do because of the way that my life, the path that my life has taken. It's, 
philosophical talk, Sophia. Like, <laughs> um, I am happy with what I have. I do sometimes think about what could have been, um, but then I try to remind myself there's not really any point because it's not. It could have, but it's not. So why waste energy on things that are never going to be when you don't have enough energy to deal with what is anyway? <laughs> like, <laughs> go get some sleep. Um, yeah. But it's an interesting thought, like, interesting thought process. Uh, ramparts. Oh, crap. Um, so, let me just moment, please. Um... 30k, yeah, another pattern. Matterweave cloak. Uh, it's not as crazy. There's anything weird to the body? No, not at all. Nothing at all, dupe. I have. God, I was reading through a Reddit thread the other day, and all the replies were about, "Yeah, this is what happened to my body, and this is what happened to my body," and I was just like, "Do I want children? Like, <laughs> is this something that I actively want?" Like, <laughs> uh. mm. It absolutely was a different age. It's such a different time now to 32 years ago. Such a different time. The jobs that most of us do right now probably didn't exist back then. Like, I know this didn't. Live streaming video games on the internet. The internet wasn't, a, well, well, it probably was a thing, but it wasn't accessible to the general public. Like, <laughs> oh, the world has changed. So much, so much. But yeah, it still still feels kind of weird. You know. Good fortune to our friends. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be okay with just doing this. That should be fine. Hockey day. May your feet find <clears throat> good trails. Compare my parents were at my age. It's a completely different time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 21 when they had me. 21 year old me was totally not ready for that. No. Agreed. At Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's, um. Yep. I plan on having wife and kids at 29. It was my mum's trajectory. I got the marriage. Thankfully, not the kids. She was so wrong for me. Good. I'm glad that it worked out for you. I'm glad it worked out for you. Yeah. I thought I got the right lady. My own beautiful kid. Almost another here. 39 is the new 29. Love it. Love it. I'm certainly not Fiamma 29 anymore, that's for sure. Mmm. Congrats on the newcomer. Indeed. Just under 12 weeks to go. My gosh. My or age, my mum had a 3, 7, 9, and 12 year old maid. Me at 18. It went down from there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You'll find out someone's pregnant. They all tell the horror stories. Yeah, never the good ones. Oh, this was, um, so the, uh, the, the Reddit story that I was reading about was a, um, it was an Am I the Arsehole post, I think. Or maybe it was a best of Reddit or updates that came from, oh god, I don't even know now. But basically it was a guy whose wife, uh, they, they were married, they had a kid. During the pregnancy, she became flat out abusive. Flat out abusive. And, um... And after the whole thing, they basically sat down and said, we are not having more children because that is just not, no. Like she completely, the person she was completely changed. She was held in the hospital for a few weeks after the baby was born and he took the baby home and all this kind of, cause she just, she was not right. She was not right at all in any way, shape or form. Hi, the sun and, Oh, my goodness. Matt, thank you so much for the resub. Eight months, my God. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. So generous of you. Um, yeah, so so uh, she became completely abusive and they agreed no more children, none. We're not going through that again. It was terrible, horrible, broken. We're not doing it again. Um, and then a year or so later, she's like, but what if we did? And he just said, no. And she was like, what do you mean no? And he's like, no, we're not doing that again. We agreed no. And she lost her shit. And she got really upset and accused him of abuse and all this kind of stuff and, and accused him of calling her abusive and all that stuff. Um, and he ended up uh, like leaving the house for, you to, for a few days. And then it comes out 
that um, brother and sister-in-law or, or brother-in-law and sister, I can't remember which one it was, um, but he went there and saying like, I can't believe, you know, she was never like this. She'd gone back to normal and it was, and they were basically like, she didn't go back to normal. She she never went back to normal. She, is, she has been low-key abusive. It's not as bad as it was when she was pregnant, but she has been low-key abusive to you since that child was born. And we saw red flags before that as well. You just, you're blind to it because you love her. Um, and so she kept ramping up and up and up and up and up and up and up. And so he took the child and got out of there. And, uh, and so there was a comment, you know, you know, the pregnancy does batshit things to your body. I can imagine, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff going on, but you did the right thing because you got out of there because it was a dangerous situation, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then after that, it's like, yeah, speaking of crazy things that it does to your body. And then it was this whole big chain, this flood of all this terrifying stuff that happened to these poor people's bodies while they were pregnant. And I'm just like, okay, all right, <clears throat> that's a thing. <laughs> but yeah, so that was um, fun read, fun read. And then apparently you forget a whole lot of it because of all the all the the massive flood of endorphins as you actually baby hold. But um, yeah, look, it's fun. Uh, right, so I'm gonna close out of that because I'm gonna switch this to heroic power five three. Yeah, we're fine. This will ramp us up real quick. This is we're gonna <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of stuff real like these runs are quick. Um. Uh, because 30 years ago, it was not close surface met the missus and concentrated on Korea. There you go. There you go. How much advice you get from everyone, even strangers? Yeah. And, oh, the touching. You know, just because, like, my body is very clearly pregnant does not make my belly pub public property. Do not touch me. Like, do not touch me. Like, good lord, I would... <laughs> I would probably be arrested for assault if someone tried to touch my belly, especially a stranger. But I'm not even kidding. What gives anyone the right to fucking touch me? I don't, like, no. Carrying another life does not give you the right to touch a human without consent. It's as simple as that. Anyway. <clears throat> Your best advice we took was take all advice on board, work out what works for us exactly. Let fuck you is DPS. Oh my god. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> anyway, hey Lox, I'm doing well. How are you? Ooh, I hydrate. Do, 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 do. Hmm. So many am I the asshole who said with pregnancy? They do. Yep. They do. No, it's not the asshole. No, absolutely, right? But that one was really sad. Yeah, right? Sucks. Yeah. You didn't forget we'd have died out as a species. Correct. Correct. Except I get it. Touching someone with their hand on my sister's belly so she did the same thing back. That's exactly what I'd do. Exactly. Like, what are you doing? Oh, I thought you greet people by touching, your be touching their belly. I didn't want to be culturally insensitive. And then just deadpan them and wait for them to walk away awkwardly. Only <laughs> no one touched me while I was pregnant. I was legit worried I'd hit someone. Yeah, it's great. I bet they were offended. Put a hand on their face until they ticked theirs back. Yeah. Although I wouldn't want to touch anyone's face at this point. Hope it's a thing. <laughs> like. Ugh. Ooh, a stretch. Thanks, Chris. Your oh, probs not now. No. Probs not now. Dare, Draz, Silver, Joe, Dupe, Zam, Spam, and Ali. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. Go Berserker time. Place your units, click that link in chat, follow, uh, log in with your Twitch account, and uh, drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Right, closing off shattered halls, opening up 
Hellfire Rampart's are at 38.46%, which is Thresh. Look at this giant loot. Like, the loot table is huge. It's redonkulous. But that's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, we are on heroic. Good. We're going to go into here. We're going to go ready check. Three, two, one, go. as well but it's just gotten a lot shorter yay that's so good to hear hopefully mine will get a bit shorter in the next 45 minutes as well but we'll see we'll see oh i just got revered with thralma <laughs> Enjoy what you're dead. Nothing new. Oh, it's just me. through to Omor, the Unscarred. <clears throat> hey! I think both of those. Yeah, they're both new. Fantastic. Two out of the four crossed off the list. I can see heroic at the bottom of the list now. So <laughs> The little word that says heroic. Challenges. Pity they were all in vain. Ugh. Soon Can't breathe. More people will my kneel Lord to my Lord. The end of you. All right, and I have to wait seven years for the chest to open, right? No. Six things that I could have gotten, and I got none of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Does Ludopraiser Challenge automatically link mine to everyone else? No, that's Ludopraiser Challenge. So there's two different add-ons. You've got Ludopraiser, and then you have Ludopraiser Challenge, so you can join these challenges. 
and you've got to accept to link up, but then yeah, it sends through everything you get automatically once you've linked it up. Um, you also need to have TSM set up with the desktop app installed, all that kind of stuff. Back in we go! Was done. That's okay. Um, if we're halfway through one like now, you can still join. Um, if you go onto your friends list and you scroll down to where I am, or you right click me, down the bottom it'll have the section that says Ludapraiser Challenge and it's send request for invite and it'll automatically add you to the challenge and you can just kick off. Start going. Oh, the fire is rather boring. Oh, I imagine it's because you've done it already on normal and comparatively it's boring. But maybe for newbies who haven't seen anything else it's not. Oh, our space missing. Yeah, that's normal though, isn't it? There's usually stuff like big stuff missing on elephant. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> hey! I got braces of just rewards. Crossed off one of the things for Watchkeeper. due to people who are under geared that's the thing like you gotta remember lfr is geared to a very different kind of player than regular raids hey i got the just the, the weird one that appears in the other dungeon shattered halls as well that's the justice spirits pauldrons and i just got them to drop yay that's awesome oh we're up to 58.97 to jump quite a bit of percent. <laughs> I'm seeing so much progress doing it this way. It's really cool. I like it a lot. We're gonna have to keep doing this, I think. Pick a class and bang out a few dungeons on it. Straight hardwood stuff's probably not shiny, it's probably woody, but that's fine. Start at 65, I'm still at 65. Oh no. Yeah, see, I'm catching you now. I'm catching you. They were all in vain. Soon your people will kneel to my lord. Your time is running out. I started at 38.46 and I'm now 58.97, so I've gotten 20%. Oh, actually. Dropsick seems to be the minimum tank in here as a fresh boost. Wait, you paid for a boost? Hey, I got a new one. Hellreave is a new one. 64.10. Yeah, see, one, one drop gets you like 6%. It's great. <clears throat> I'm really going to regret 
seconds, but I have to go to the bathroom. I need to I need to take that chair string. <laughs> oh, the tank in the raid is boosted. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. I th when you said my tank, I thought you just meant like your tune. That's that's absolutely my bad. I'm gonna be back in a second. Run away, little girl. Run away. Onward. It's just a little, oh no. Oh dear. Yeah, you go much faster than I do. <laughs> it's okay, it's because you're better than I am. No healer enters with another rune forges the healer chant. Oh no. What does the healer enchant do? Heal me! <laughs> Quickly! <coughs> the blood light, blood knight defender from him. Oh well. Ooh. That 
even though apparently it goes to 500 less. I've got it set to region, don't I? Why is it doing yeah, global sale average? Why is that coming up different for people on different servers? It shouldn't be. That's a global setting. It's a region global setting. Can someone explain? Because like that same one, I like region sale average is 3202. But Krazy's given, it's given Krazy credit for 3788. It's 500 more gold. Is it not actually applying my settings to everybody else or something? Stats, maybe. You have faced many challenges. No, it doesn't Did have an of the blah blah blah. It's just. Soon your people will yield skin to my lord. It's just the same item. Will be the end of you all. Unless it actually does and it's just not showing up like that. Ah, yeah, over the quick blade. God damn it, so it's not showing up properly in thingy. Gotcha. But my TSM is set. Nice. My TSM is set to ignore end bits because I'm selling it as transmog, not as an item. So, like. It's really confusing. I think we can choose price source. No, you're not supposed to be able to. If you're joining my challenge, it'll use my settings because you're part of it's supposed to at least. That's why I'm like, is it not working like that? But yeah, no, it's supposed to use mine so that everyone's on an even playing field so no one uses. Custom price sources or something that are ridiculously high, you know. That's not sure then. Yeah, I am not sure either. But yeah, it might it might be because of the um, attachment on the end. It might be because of the stats. But of the fire flash or whatever. stuff. Interesting. <laughs> I still need my blood knife. Stuff. Okay, next run. Function, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, does anyone else do that? Like, blow a raspberry and they don't get the, what they want from the bus? Is it just me? Is 
Or more even have loot. Yes. Or more dropped me something that I needed before. So he does. Just not giving me the other bit that I want. Have you got ATT up as well, Krazy? Is that what is that what you're doing too? Yeah, awesome sauce. What are you at now? How are you going with it? Like, what's the percentage for Rampart? They were all in vain. Soon your people will kneel to my lord. End of you. Hey, Murray, how you doing? <clears throat> Ooh! Another new one! Yay! Esters. 813? Nice! That's awesome! <gasps> you got to 70, meaty! Fantastic! I'm at 74.35 now. I still can't believe I finished, what was it? The other one. Blood Furnace. I finished Blood Furnace. That's an amazing feeling. Finishing a dungeon or a raid entirely is just, oh, that's so good. Oh, empty bags time. Hey, Jay, how you doing? Many deals for a friend of the Grummels. He like you. Many farewell. There we go. Split up. May your feet find good trails. <laughs> Many farewells. Good fortune to our friends. And then we go again. Mm, when you should ask, I screwed up. Oh, that's not good. Oh well. Uh, let me progress Violet Hold on, Mogs. I feel like crying a little. Oh, Violet Hold is such a pain in the ass. Especially considering as all the different bosses have their own different drops. And I don't think, like, can you get, it? does it randomize every time you zone in? Because I know it was set bosses on Mythic, but does it rotate on normal? I can't even remember, it's been so long. Farming, thank you, Claw. Thank you. I'm not celebrate Easter big feast and things. I'm sorry, on my limit, I'm proper hungover. Ah, uh, you're not the first person to say that today. Not about Easter Denmark thing. Um, <laughs> but the but the hungover thing. You're not the only hungover person in chat at the moment, I believe. I'm oh, heroic, it's random. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's okay. That's slightly better at least. But it does take forever. But you could also kind of semi AFK it. Just park yourself at the at the stairs and just wait for stuff to come to you. Obviously, it's not as quick, so you won't be able to get through as many runs in whatever. But you can just sort of sit there and wait for them to come to you a bit and like do something else <laughs> alt tabbed or something while you while you wait for them to come to you there's not this time that's okay look it happens it happens and you'll be fine you'll be just fine i'm gonna enjoy this <laughs> Heal me! Quickly! That's not what I wanted. Something next to that to distract? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever do Violet Hold on stream. Like, I think that'll be like a, an off stream task. I'm still drunk a few hours later, hit me like a train. Yeah. Yep, that's always the worst bit. What has loot? Yay, crazy! Amazing. Well done. Oh, 
But I want all ear. Well, that's your call. It's up to you how you want to play. <clears throat> Truncheon of five hells. That's exactly what I got last time as well. You sneaky. You person. Decisions to resub or not to resub. That's entirely up to you. Entirely up to you. Do you build speed sets for characters farming all content and in content without tiers? How do you pick your class? Um, I don't build speed sets, no. Um, I CBF. Like, it's really not that important to me. Um, you're not gonna gain that much speed. Like, it's not like you're gonna cut a runtime in half or something. Like, it's it's not that. Yeah, I just know. Um and oh, I know you meant to wow, Chewie. I, I, I figured that much, but it is entirely up to you still. Uh, and in content without tears, how do you pick your class? I play mage. I play mage. That's that's how. <laughs> I've mained a mage for 15 years. Since I started playing World of Warcraft at the start of Burning Crusade, I have played and mained a mage. I'm not changing. Soon your people will kneel to my oh, Lord that's our pretty easy decision to make. Of you uh, it makes you lock out more. Yeah, that is another thing. You gotta remember, like the faster if you can do a six minute run, six minutes is perfect. If you can do a six minute run, you never come up against the lockout timer. You just keep running and running and running and running and running and you're fine. Totally fine. The moment you hit five minutes and fifty nine seconds. You start hitting lockouts. So if you try to speed it up too much, yes, you'll get through them really quickly, but then you have to wait around for it to reset. Um, but yeah, there, there aren't too many dungeons that are super, super quick like that. There are only a handful. Uh, but yeah, no, I just, I, I do not care about... I, I stopped min-maxing a, a long time ago. Like years and years and years ago, uh, I used to min-max my classes and and you know do all the algorithmic bullshit for um, reforging and all that kind of stuff when that was a thing. Like I I used to do that stuff. I used to theory craft um, back in like Wrath, um, but I just don't care. <laughs> I I don't care. I I'm having a ton of fun the way that I'm playing and. That's what's important to me, the the part that I'm having fun, um, and I know other people have a lot of fun min maxing that and building speed, and that's fantastic. I'm really glad that they have fun in their way, but this is fun for me. And spending the extra time, like you said, you know, it takes time to build a speed set. It also takes time to figure out where it all comes from, and and all do all that kind of data research and blah 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 blah. And I've got fifty tunes. <laughs> I've got fifty characters. No. <laughs> mm -mm, not happening. Uh, so yeah, that's that's me. Uh, but I absolutely don't hold it against people who do want to do that kind of stuff. And more power to them if they wanna, if they want to be able to get through this type of content as quick. If they're speedrunners, you know, it's a speedrunning strat thing. Um, and I I'm not a speedrunner in any game, uh, but. It is fascinating to watch those who do, like with all their little tips and tricks about, you know, how to get through this bit faster and there's a little shortcut there and blah blah blah. Like that stuff is super cool. It's just not the way that I video game. And that's okay. Multitudes of ways to play. And uh, this is the one I choose. Which picture and for speed running things you do. You do, that is what I have been told. This <laughs> way. Mm, one better thing to play mage playing no mage. Uh, my first tune. Ah, uh, no, my first tune was a butt off mage, and then um, after a little while, I switched to alliance, and I was a gnome. I had to re-level, of course, because this was in a time before uh, faction transfers and things like that existed. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I played a gnome mage for like, six years or so, I think it was. And then I um, faction transferred her to Horde and became a Blood Elf. Um, 
Never good at mage, you would hunter my go-tos. I'm going to call it there after catch a crazy clock in the morning. Of course, Krazzy, have fun, be safe. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Rest well. Dodging was good. Fun is important. Yes, you're not a speedrunner, so yes, racing games are not something you play. Uh, look, not usually, but give me Mario Kart any day of the week. Um, I used to love, along with most people, Need for Speed Underground. Um, I haven't played it in many moons, but I absolutely threat like the drifts. Um, no, not the drifts. The um, the the straight line. Go as fast as you possibly can. Those ones. I don't remember what they're called, but they were they were my jam. And you had to like when it got to the more difficult ones, you had to like so you had to shift gears at the right time to keep your speed up and stuff. But then you also had to like it towards the more difficult levels, like dodge trucks and other cars on the road and stuff like that. Um, uh, Dark, Draz, Joe, Infamous, Dupe, and Meaty. Congratulations to you on your bonus hits. Um, so they were they were my jam to the point that like my brother and I both played not at the same time. We had one PC, family computer, um, but to the point that when he was having trouble with one of those levels, he'd get me to come and do it for him because they were what I was really, really good at. Um, but yeah, so like, it's not, I, I, I understand that you were mostly joking, but uh, <laughs> there are a couple of, of racing games that I've, I've done pretty okay with, but um, yeah, they're not super something that I play very much anymore. Uh, I don't have any of the Mario Karts on the Switch. Uh, so, drag. Yeah, 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 the drag racing. That's the one. Look, it starts with DR still, so it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, the drag races were my, were my jam. And of course my car was black with red and orange flames and red neons. I've always, always been a fan of fire. You have faced many challenges. Pity they were all in vain. Very <laughs> well, I am a god. Well done, Zam. To my lord and of you all. Give me my loot. Ooh. The Iron Soul Clompers are new to me. Fantastic. I mean, 95 silvers, God. Oh, wow. Inflation is real, hey? <clears throat> I've been playing Tomb Raider 3, maybe two together. My cousin played together. We got stuck on a puzzle. Handed the controller to him. If you had trouble on a shooting part, then me. Yep, everyone has their strengths, eh? And that's when it's beautiful when you've got someone to share, when someone to play with. You can both use your strengths together to win. Um, next month, we we had a, this week, we had our, which ended today, and we successfully completed it, the, ch uh, the stream challenge with Embers, the channel points, for a game called TikTok, A Tale for Two. Uh, and it's a puzzle game that was recommended to me. Um, and by Ali, <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure it was Ali. Now that I say that, I feel like I'm doubting myself. But um, it's a puzzle game, but it's for two players. A tale for two, right? Two players, and each player only gets like half the clues. We each see a scene, but we both see different parts of it, and so we have to communicate and work together to figure out what because we only, you know we only get half the clues so we need to communicate with each other to figure out what all the clues are to, to, to like fix the puzzle uh to answer the puzzle and so jas and i are gonna play it next month and it's gonna be hilarious looking forward to my return to wow well, they can't come soon enough yas welcome back to azeroth all soon soon i'm so excited for the stream good good i'm i'm glad i'm really glad you're excited um Cool. Ooh, another blue. Well, that I don't have. Fantastic. 
what I'm really terrified of, right? The day will come where I've completed all 12 classes, all the BC dungeons, to 100%, and I still have BC world drops to get. That is the day that terrifies me. I'm just gonna have to add them all to a shopping list in TSM and just try to buy them. Because, <laughs> yeah, world drops are gonna scare me. It's gonna be a whole thing. A whole thing! Zam 20,000 and one. Good job. Well done. <clears throat> Ruined it. That's fine. <laughs> Truncheon of five hells. Come on. Grumble. <laughs> Grumble. Hello, Noddy. How are you going today? Welcome back. Work at seven thirty. Amazing. I hope that when you do go to bed, you have a fantastic rest. So I'm pretty sure you probably deserve it working hard all night. You have faced many challenges. Pity they were all in vain. Soon your really people quick will to Oh yeah. Not only that, Lord. but there are like three or four of them active at any one time in the whole uh, area. I've I've been up flying and have been able to see like three of them. <laughs> grumble, grumble. Oh, yeah, okay. I cleared up all and you can have some peace and quiet. By the time you kill the last one, the first one will respawn. As well as probably the second. The Ember Goal. We did, Red! We did reach the Ember Goal. So we'll be having that stream in May. Very exciting. I did hear reset, didn't I? Did me hear reset? I didn't. Bugger! Alright. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. We do- we are gonna have a new goal for next week, though. Because that's how this works. What is it next week? Oh, the gold-making stream! So literally what we're doing now. <laughs> Except we'll actually hit up proper, like, ones that are supposed to be lacked. <laughs> <clears throat> Rather than random ones that fear wants to try to get transmog from.
my blood knight wants it. Gimme. I'm all for take you with that match you set. Oh, Jazz. Have you talked about it in the in the Discord? Like, is are other people having that same sort of feeling, or just you? Ah, oh! another BOE world drop pattern. This time for meaty. Good lord. Good lord. I just saw you jump and I'm like, what the hell dropped for you? Ah, <laughs> oh, good lord. Well done. Well done. Couple seem to be. Mm. Yeah, that kind of sucks. What is the improvement you're meant to see? Obviously, it's not to your tankiness. Is it like a DPS improvement? My first one tonight, unlike others. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Congrats. Okay, here you go. There's a perfect example. So you see the Talari Longbow for Lady Chaos gives us 3820, but the same item for Zam gives 6993. Because of the difference in region. Uh, DPS increase, increase the uptime of one of my CDs. Okay. So why do you feel less tanky then? Like how does it affect your tank stuff? Is the cooldown... Like... Does the increase of uptime affect the cooldown? And therefore, like, means you can't control it as well? Or, like, what's the... My pattern was where, where are mine, Zam? Where are mine? You have faced many challenges. Pity they were all in vain. Soon your people will kneel to my lord. Jesus. End of you all. Um. I reckon I could probably get one more run in. Probably, I'll probably, it, the timer will finish before I finish the run, but that's okay. No. I got 100 Ooh. Yeah, that's... That sounds like there's a bug somewhere. Something sounds like it's interacting in a way that it's not supposed to be. That's super odd. Super odd. Super odd. In we go. Ten instances recently. There we go. <clears throat> but I got four minutes until I can enter another one, so I mean it'd probably reset in time. Just It'd be really nice to just cross a couple more of the, like there's four items. I could get all of these in one run. I could. I'm probably not going to, but it'd be really nice. That could be the issue. Look, maybe four eye levels is like a lot. I'm guessing you don't mean four eye levels on that piece. I'm guessing you mean four eye levels from your average. Like you went from 250 down to 245. Uh, oh, sorry, 246. Cause that, that is a huge jump. That's honestly probably it. The average, yeah, that's a big drop. A huge drop. Maybe hold on to them and see how you go when you get the four set. <clears throat> Cause maybe the drop in eye level will be compensated for with the four set, but not with the two set. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd, I'd probably be, uh, you gotta stick with whatever feels best, as much as it kind of sucks, you know, you chase Tia and here you are, uh, but at least you have a few, other, a few other specs, like, that's a nice thing, having access to it for the other specs is good. DPS more. 
Yeah, but who knows? Like, maybe it'll... You won't know until you try, hey? Maybe it'll feel better. In theory, set bonuses are supposed to be better than the eye level drops as long as it completes either two or four set. Yeah, but dropping four item levels from your average, that is a big loss in strength, in stamina, in eye... Like, you know what I mean? That's... That's where you're feeling it. If you're, if you're dropping four average item levels, it looks like you're dropping 20 or so le item levels on the specific piece. That is far, that's a huge drop. Like a huge drop. Ah, <clears throat> uh, that's meaty indeed. Uh, issue is it doesn't okay, come with an innate defense bonus beyond DRW uptime for parry. Mm, okay. Well, I mean, look, hold on to them anyway. Excuse me. You might as well hold on to them anyway, but, um... Yeah. I got the truncheon! I got the truncheon! Yay! Yay. Thank you, Ellie. Uh, but yes, congratulations to Meaty with 40,603. Thanks to the Pattern Hood of Primal Life, which uh, region sale average is 27,194. Zam in second with 28,135. Fee in third with 17,233. Chaos in fourth with 14,767. Ali in fifth with 10,551. And Krazzy, who had to dip out a bit early, in sixth with 9,138. In total, between the six of us, we got 120k. 120 and a half k. <clears throat> you have faced many challenges. Um, Pity they were all in vain. Yes, DM after the mage left. Saying you've got to know how much you can pull. I just didn't remember them pulling multiple extra packs. I mean, you could tell them that. Just do that. Pull them, blame the tank. Yeah, at least I speak up and go, I pulled things, I'm so sorry, that's my fault. Like. Nothing else, but that's okay. I've gone from 38.46% completion to 84.61. That is a big jump. All right, I'm gonna grab my data. If you wanna open up the spreadsheet to have a look and watch all these orange cells go green, now is the time to do it. I'm about to paste my new data from my Paladin into the spreadsheet so it'll update all the stats. AT dart, let me. There's your spreadsheet. If you'd like to watch the magic. Um. So if you scroll along, Burning Crusades already opened up, but you'll need to scroll along to the pink one at the top. It says Desi Dorata. And that is my, Desi is my paladin that I'm currently on. Uh, and then I'm going to go into this tab and I'm going to paste. Ping, 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 ping. Look at that. One of them's gone blue. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that something gorgeous? Oh, hmm. yep. So my next, my next lowest that the spreadsheet wants me to work on is um, is Trial of Valor, specifically on my um, my leather tunes, my leather wearers. Um, firstly, my druid, but it has also flagged my rogue and my monk. Um, so I think I'm probably going to have to do that at some point during the week if I can find time just to bump that number up so I can keep, change, keep ro rolling through, like, up, do it going up, 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 up until I get to one that's a dungeon. Uh, until I get to one that's a dungeon. I'm going to hearth and I'm actually, I'm going to switch to my druid and make sure that that number's accurate. I'm going to grab new data for her um, and just see if that's right. Because it might be wrong. I might have already done it on a, on a leather wearer and I just haven't updated it. Mm, but yeah, um... Anyone want to have a last minute attempt 
at guessing the map makeup because it hasn't been guessed. I really like that shield. It's very pretty. How'd you get that extract put in the spreadsheet? Uh, it's an add-on that uh, one of our community members wrote for me so that I could do it. <laughs> it's available on CurseForge. Um, it's called Table Data Collector, I believe is what it's called. Um, the author is Jack Spratt. And uh, yeah, he wrote an add-on to pull ATT data from my game and stick it specifically into this spreadsheet. Um, the spreadsheets, all all those cells are formulas. Um, so you can make a copy yourself and, and you know, go in and put in your own character details and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty magic. Uh, you're welcome, Dre. What was dinner tonight? Our leftover lunch from the week. I had a lunch that I didn't get around to eating, so that's what I'm eating now because I hate wasting food. What colours we have? Uh, red, brown, uh, goldy red, medium colour brown sort of thing, and like a paler brown. It flies and I own it. You got past me, I only finished on 75. Ooh, <laughs> rough. Rough. It's not the Black Drake. Unfortunately, not the black Drake. Uh, Flame Ward Hippogriff, new. No. Nope. I own it doesn't narrow it down much. It narrows it down some. There are 200 and something mounts I don't have. Hmm. Uh, Violet Protodrake seems too easy. Nope. Uh, as does Rusted Protodrake. Nope. Huntmaster's Loyal Wolfhawk. Nope. Pandaren Kite. Nope. Still 3469. Bugger. Um, so yeah, Trial of Valor is going to be my lowest. Uh, that's why. That is specifically why. It's the ensemble. Makes up so much of the entire instance. It's huge. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll... Uh, Uh, Red Dragon Hawk, no. Swift Red Wind Rider, nope. Tawny Wind Rider, nope. Grand Wyvern, no. Hmm. It looks like I've done Hillier's Conquest. So I have to do. Odin's favor. So if I, you got until the battle ends. So you got just over, just under seven minutes, and then plus however long the battle goes for. <clears throat> and then I'll stop guesses by telling you what it is. You can smell it from here. Mm. Leftover lunch from the week. Um. I had one left over and I hate wasting food, so I'm having it for dinner tonight. But it's um, mashed sweet potato with a nightshade free curry. So no potato, no tomato, no pepper. Um, and there's a bunch of spices that are also part of the nightshade family that um, I'm not supposed to be eating. So yeah, it's curry, but it's nightshade free and it's delicious. Really freaking tasty. Really freaking tasty. Can I assist you? <clears throat> Uh, autumnal wildling. Nope. Bulbous necro ray. Nope. What's this one? How does it look? Is it still looking okay? Yeah, it's getting there. But yeah, so I've got like a red sort of shade in my crease, and then there's a bit of brown on the outside here. 
And then in the middle here, it's kind of, it's got a gold reflect, so it's not picking up super well in the camera, but there's also like a reddish sort of tone, like a hue under it. So it turns out looking like, like a medium brown that has like red warm tones to it. And then in the corner there, it's like a, a brownie goldy sort of shade. Yeah. I really like how it turned out today. Looks good. Uh, it is not the Black Drake. Uh, Gmod, nope. <clears throat> I don't actually own the Gmod. Red Drake, nope. Synchronous world spinner. Nope. Bum, bum, banana. Legion music was awesome too. Grand armored wyvern. Nope. Let's try it on normal. I know it's got an LFR available. <clears throat> but, um... Demons, continue to march on the gates of the Valor. Your aid is required. Let's just see if we can actually do it on normal. Mm, leaping vein seeker, no. Male muncher, no. Excuse me. Uh, what's written? No, shit. I zoned it too. Normal, perfect. <clears throat> All oh, right, this is my tenth instance as well. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Good. Oh, my post is posted on Instagram. Red primal raptor. Nope. Red writhing nether ray. Nope. Clutch of jikun. Nope. Champions. You have spilled the blood of Helia's minions. The time has <laughs> come to enter Helheim itself and end the Sea Witch's dark reign. But first, our final challenge. Heimdall! Persia! Mm, smoldering Emberworm. Nope. Water. Mastercraft Gravewing. Nope. I must be certain they possess the courage and skill needed for what is to come. High Mountain Elderhorn, nope. Solar Spirehawk, nope. Pets of yours, Odin. Hold nothing back. <clears throat> I must know they are ready for the task ahead. So Spawn be of Galakras. Nope. shall be purged from the halls of valor. The battle anonymous pumpkin. I thought there were always animals with the anonymous thing at the top of Google Sheets, but there's an anonymous pumpkin viewing my spreadsheets. <laughs> That's great. I love it so much. None can stand against Aya's <laughs> chosen. Only cowards fear the call of battle. Stop! 
Stand together or die alone! It's gonna stop costing soon, right? I know you're supposed to kill the right ones on the right. I can't see <laughs> which Where ones are the right ones. Get over here. Well done we go. so far. But I will judge for myself whether you mm. are worthy. Yeah, I know, Chip. It literally just triggered. Like <laughs> I'm mid battle. Mid fight with the boss. It seems I have been too gentle. How that thing? There we go. Your worth Patience is a virtue. With you as my champions, Helia will fall, and I will at long Ah, uh, sorry, Spawn of Galacrass, no. Son of Gallia, no. Grand Wyvern, no. Waste Marauder, no. Waste Wonder, Sky Terror, no. Zuilag, ATV, no. Brown Riding, Camel, no. Have you brought valor to these halls? May your battle be glorious. <clears throat> Bring us tears. No more guesses. Totally fair. I got no new upgrade, no new transmog from that fight. Brilliant, wonderful, love that. What victories do you bring? Ah, uh, it is not invincible. There's no blue. It's was blue. Congratulations to Silver Spam, Meaty Gooses, Dare, Kledgy, V, Apro, and Doop on all your bonus shit. Uh, that is our final battle for the day. Thank you very much to everyone who placed with us. And uh, I hope you've had a fantastic time. Uh, this thing. This is my schedule for the month. Uh, one moment while I... This little thingy majiggy. This one. Uh, schedule! Uh, we've got, what are we doing? Uh, mount farms. Mount farms tomorrow because it's Monday and that's what we do on Mondays. We mount farm. Uh, fingers crossed I'll actually get something new. That'd be really nice. Um, <laughs> pretty sure it was last week. Was it last week we got two mounts or did we get no mounts last week? No, I'm pretty sure last week we got two mounts. So I got two mounts is the number to beat. That's not going to happen. But that's okay. We can try. We can try. We can still try to get mounts. Um... I'm looking for- I love mount farms. They're great fun. Surprise more rat. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? How good was that? I was shocked. Shocked! Wednesday is Mage Tower. I'm- I have not prepared. I am not- you are not prepared. I am not prepared. Correct. Not at all. Um, so this will be very entertaining, hopefully, for all of you. That's kind of the point, is that you have entertainment provided to you. By me not knowing what I'm doing. Uh, so that'll be fun. Next Friday, we're going to do some Legion time walking. So bring your tunes. My plan is to roll through as many tunes as I can, doing one dungeon each to get that quest item to turn in for the 500 badges, because I'm trying to buy as many rewards as I can with those badges. Uh, but it's completely up to you how you choose to roll. You might want to do four um, on, like, on a bunch of characters to get your... your, your piece of gear or whatever as well, like totally okay. 
Uh, and then wrapping back around to the transmog hunt, which will be a bit the same as today. I don't, like, because the lowest number is Trial of Valor, which I'm obviously trying to increase right now, um, I don't know what we're going to run, but if I figure it out during the week, I'll let y'all know early. One other really important thing I want to rate, like, I want to, like, remind you guys that is happening this month. On the 27th of April, it's the first of the two Shah Farms. That's a charity stream. Uh, we are raising funds for Pank One, which is a pancreatic cancer research charity. Uh, pancreatic cancer has a ridiculously low survival rate. The five year survival rate is 8%. This day and age with all of the medical advancements we have, 8% is, rid is ridiculously low. That is just silly. Um, there's no, there's no reason it should be that low, uh, and we can, we can change that. But we need the funding. Uh, it's not a, it's not a sexy cancer. Um, it's not, you know, one of those ones that everyone's constantly warned about and all that kind of stuff. And so there's not a whole lot of funding around for research and things like that. And that's why fundraisers like what we're going to be doing are so bloody important. Uh, April 27th is storytelling day. Uh, so the the idea is that people share stories about loved ones who have uh, you know dealt with cancer or even themselves. If again, if anyone feels comfortable, make sure that you have consent of anyone telling their stories and all that kind of stuff. Um, but talking about uh, cancer and how it's affected our lives and and raising that awareness of this ridiculously low survival rate. Like, can you like you go to the doctor and they say, okay, yeah, you you have pancreatic cancer. Five years from now, there is an 8% chance you'll be alive. What? No, that's that's ridiculous. We, no, absolutely not. So, yeah, that's what we're going to fix. Cool. Try to fix. Do our best to fix. Uh, so we're going to raise some funds. Uh, the Bean Boozled Beans will be coming back out. Uh, donations will trigger fear eating treats or not-so-treats. Um, <laughs> if you have any other suggestions for, for things you might want to see in return for donations to the charity, uh, feel free to drop them in the feedback channel in Discord. I'd love to hear them. Um, but yeah, that's that's where we're at at the moment. Uh, make sure you, you check out the, uh, the socials. Y'all know I want to go full-time. And I'm sure you want me to go full-time. You want more fear, don't, don't lie. Um, so if you want that, um, do, do the thing, follow the, follow the socials, tell me, oh, I'm dry, I'm drowning, good, okay. How do I get rid of that? I forget, there's probably a thing somewhere, oh well, whatever. Um, follow the socials, particularly Instagram, interact with the posts if you're feeling generous, would love that, it'd be great. Um, fuck cancer, correct, indeed, absolutely, so we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that. The Instagram, sure. The Instagram. Can we save you too, nurse? You too. Um, so we're gonna go raid a birthday boy. We're gonna go raid a birthday boy. Um, here's this. Here's this. Uh, I'm not sure what we're ready to do with that stream. I think it's a great idea, personally. Man, okay, totally fine. Not a worry at all. Uh, grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma hype in uh, because either you're not subbed or because you haven't unlocked it with your travel points, either which are totally okay, you can still copy and paste the entire message, uh, drop it into Grumbly's chat when we get there, uh, and change the Fiamma hype to your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote. And all the celebrations, because it, it birthday boy. It birthday boy. Give him some love. He's awesome. He rocks. I like Grumbly. Um, so take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. I will see you tomorrow for Mount Farm Monday. Um, I'll put it here too. Absolutely. You can definitely put it here as well. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. It was a red proto-drake. Bye.